What is going on? Hey. 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 What happened to the great music? Yeah. Uh huh. Shane ended it early. Shane only pays for so many minutes of it. That's right. That's why we're going to March why we're the gonna, 18th, everybody. Right. That's why we're going to have to start thinking about raising dues around here. Yeah, absolutely. Gonna, you know, I don't know. What do you want to go? A penny a year? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> that, that might buy you a cigar after 52 weeks. <laughs> Did y'all discuss the, uh, the date on the show before I jumped in the back? No. Okay. Why? What happened? Is there something wrong? Is there a typographical error? Yeah, I'm talking to them. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. March 18th. That uh, Shane Shane said to show up yesterday and put yesterday's date. So these folks in <laughs> chat have been waiting 24 hours. So thank you all. Yeah, we appreciate them. <laughs> well, some people want front row seats to the number one unrated show. <laughs> Carlos. Carlos! Speaking yeah. of being number one. Speaking about being number one, look at oh, look at him. Lasers. <laughs> wow. Do that again. Do that again, dude. Got those zoom filters. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, baby. Oh, and roll. Oh man. <laughs> oh. I'm glad we it. put a man. Let me tell you something. I'm glad <laughs> we put a man on the a man on the moon. I'm glad we invented a, a, a vaccination for polio for all these advances so we can have that. So thank you. Yes. You know, thank you to mankind. Thank you to mankind. And we're talking about mankind, the generality of mankind, not the, not the wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> UTV and ham. Thanks for the five gifted subs right off the rip. Thank you, dude. Nice. I appreciate it. It's nice. Oh, like it when you come to the, to the club, filling all giddy and generous giveaway and yeah. whatever. Or is, is it like, well, 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 hold on. Or is it like walking into church and you go right to the confession box? <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, no. the last time I had a confession of the, the church caught on fire and Paris has not been the same since. I was going to say, wait, I have a picture of that, I think. Yes, I think you do. I think I sent it to you. <laughs> I, I last time, to... last oh, time I walked into church, the priest fainted. They brought in a second one. And he just kept on, he was sweating. He said, it's not possible. I went, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a good guy. I'm a good I, guy. I was looking in the other mm -hmm. spot, and it's not there. But it's probably. Steve, what are you <laughs> smoking tonight, Steve? I'm smoking nothing. I'm in the house. You're in the house. You're in the house. But, but, if, but if you were to smoke a cigar, I three years, folks. This is three years. We may find things out that we don't even know about each other, you would think, in three years. I've never seen you smoke a cigar, though, but or have you, Steve? We just don't know yeah, it. Yeah. Well, and it, what do you like? I'm to Huntsville. Okay. Yeah. You know, um, Huntsville, True. Orlando, those events, yeah, occasionally. Okay. What do you um, like? Full body. Full body. Cam Camacho is a good one. All right. So if I was to send you something every once in a while, you, you'd be like, okay, so I medium to full. Mm -hmm. uh, but, Nicaraguan, Dominican, Honduran. Um, I yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, just let me know when it's coming so I can get the mail first. <laughs> <laughs> look, I love this. Look, what you have to do is you have to label it as if it were a radio. Don't label it cigar. Don't label I'd it. Just, I'd get in less trouble for that. Yes. You know, just label it like it's an HT. Mm -hmm. And, you know, say, if, you know, for personal use only. You know, this is the this is the oh you're, oh, you're going to church for that. Oh no, you're going you're going to the confession box for that one. <laughs> In zero UBR, thank or URB. Thanks for the uh, welcome to the cigar. Back in the day, back in the day when I smoked cigars, uh, a Hemingway short story, mm, delicious. If you haven't had a Hemingway short story, you should definitely try one. If you Hemingway want a cigar a that is great and won't go wrong, Padron 4000. Just mm. pretty much anything in the Padron line, because I have not had a bad Padron where it had trouble staying lit, or it got too hot, or it unrolled on me in any funky way. There you go. So now, By the way, the Hemingway is made by Arturo Fuentes, so it's oh, Dominican. Yeah. Mm. There you go. Good stuff. 
I have found over the years cigars c- cigars have gotten uh, from the flavor to the boutiques to these anniversary specials that have been just sitting there for six years, 10 years, 12 years. All of a sudden, they come out. Very limited supplies, but just an incredible treat yourself kind of a thing. Maybe you guys who drink the who drink the uh, the bourbon and your whiskeys, maybe you can mm. maybe it's similar. Good yeah. whiskey. You know, a good cigar with a good whiskey paired together so well. Um there was a company, and I don't know, you know, I haven't smoked in a long, long, long time because I'm allergic to smoke, I found out. But there was a company called uh JR Cigar. They sold yes. cigars. I don't know if they're still yes. around. Yes, they are. Yeah. And in the late nineties they had a they had a specific line of cigar cigars called Casablanca, which means White House. Now think about this late 90s. White House, really big ring long cigars. We're talking <laughs> 60s and 80s on the ring, and six to ten inches on the cigar. Mm. I'll let you decide what they were paying tribute to. Mm-hmm. That's Just right. Remember. I forgot about that. That's right. I forgot about that error. Then I I put two and two together, and I know we're not supposed to be doing math on stream. But I man, oh, Carlos <laughs> may have made it four. Huh? They may yeah. still. I don't know. I like I said, I haven't smoked cigars in a long, long, long time. It's been over twenty years, and uh, in back then, are, thanks for the super chat. You know, you could Thank buy you, you you could buy the Casablanca, and it, it was. Uh, uh, it was actually a really good cigar. It was a Dominican-made cigar. It was really good. But, you know, they were tipping the hat. <laughs> now, hey, I want to give a shout-out, guys. Hey, a quick timeout to Eric, N1JUR. Mm-hmm. Those boys up in the New England states up here, a little bit northern than me, a couple up by three, four hours north than me, they're doing some wonderful ham radio stuff. They're playing radio. They're talking about it on their podcast, their websites, their YouTube channel. They're on the YouTube. Uh, I think it's every Saturday night they go live uh, nice. with, a, with their own happy hour. So if you got nothing to do on a Saturday night, go check them out. Fun group of guys. I'm hoping this summer to meet up with them at least once, twice, or just ruin the village that they're, that they're in or whatever. We're going to have fun. It's, it's going to be like the old days of rocking and rolling and and covered wagons and gunslinging and good cigars, poker and ham radio. So, uh, mm, you nice. know, but guys, check out those guys. They're having fun. They're having fun up here in the Northeast. Is that nice. allowed? Nice. To now, which president was it who signed the Cuban embargo, but still JFK. had a box of Cubans sent JFK. to the White House every month? Yeah. No, 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 no. Right before the embargo. Right, right before I the embargo, he stocked up hard. Stocked up <laughs> hard. We heard there were thousands, uh, possibly, if not hundreds. I think it was yeah. more than hundreds. Just just fill up the bowling alley. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't using it. Well, he might have been using it for something else. <laughs> right. And, guys, here's the thing about this is concerts? not this, And this is not putting down Cuban cigar, a, a true Cuban cigar. But if you have one, and if you're a traditional smoker on a regular basis, it's it's a totally different taste. It is a total mm-hmm. different taste, different seed, different ground, different water that that's that this tobacco leaf is growing, how it's how it's being aged, rolled. Um, but they say once you get used to it, or for the newcomers, automatically gravitate right for it. So, hey. You know, I say, I salute, God bless, whatever your palate says, smoke it. it just I like agree. Frank. Frank is smoking right now a 35 cent cigar <laughs> that used to be $8. <laughs> he walked into the gas. He went to go get gas Not- this early. He was telling us before the show, he, he brought, uh, what's her name? Starlight or what's his girlfriend? Is that, card? Is is that legal Sapphire. in Texas? Sapphire. Sapphire. Is that- is that legal in Texas? No. Yes, it no, is. It's yeah, not. Well, no, it's not. Well, it's legal. It's legal as long as you don't get caught. Mm. <laughs> Fills up Sapphire, walks in, gets himself three lotto tickets, a, a quart of beer, a bottle, a, a bottle of something, and then it, there's a cigar in the bottom bin where you know, like when you walk up to the counter 
It's all candy, but it's a little dirty. Next to the Almond Joy, there's a cigar. The guy told me he could have it for 35 cents. That's what Frank is smoking tonight. No, it's not. This is a Charter Oak. Yes. I got the cigar at uh, Orlando by the vendor um, QHX or QH. I'm saying this wrong. BHQ Hex. Yeah, VHQ. Um, I had to look at his QSL card. Yeah. Um, he gave me uh, this cigar. I got a couple of them, and I wanted to smoke one today. Um, this is one I saved since Orlando. Um, but, yes, the, the, the comment that everyone's roasting me on is I just did not want to light up the last Davinoff I had in my cigar box tonight. I want to do that in person, Ninja, when I finally meet you. That cigar is I know. for you. And guess what? You know, you. I'm going to have – I'm going to mm-hmm. – what Scout75 just posted, I'm going to buy It's a Boy Cigar. And when we come here, that's what you're question. <laughs> oh my god, oh. you're gonna show up like a curly head this rolled up for Rocky Patel. Uh, exactly. Love you, Scout 75. Uh, 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 I was teasing I was teasing Frank earlier because there have been times when you're a cigar smoker and you just either run out or wherever you are. And sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, and 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 I've done that a couple times and regretted it almost every time. Getting Box of fifty for two bucks. Ouch. Or or um, the Cubans when you go out of country that everyone has inside a um, jewelry case that's not humidified, and I I bought one of those one time, and it was the driest. Most fast burning cigar I tasted. <laughs> hey Frank, oh. one night. Hey Frank, one night yes. where I work, I'm coming out of work one night. This is when I was working the second shift. This is man. This is like five, six, seven years ago. I pulled up, got some gas, and mm-hmm. I'm like, I th- I'm like, I think I got one or two. Not sure. I went into the humidor at a gas station. I broke the rules. And I'm looking closely. Like gas station sushi. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Unlike, real quickly, unlike gas station barbecue, which is very good. Mm-hmm. As long okay. as it's buttons. Well, no, mm-hmm. my sister was up Here's in uh, excellent uh, the towns north of Frank and Jason. Uh, I forget where she was now. Not Denton. 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 I heard there was some great bar. Hey, let's wait, squirrel. Squirrel. Anyway, <laughs> squirrel. Um, I'm looking at the inside the humidor, and it says seventy degrees inside. And I'm like looking at it. I'm like, I don't know, seventy. You know, sixty-eight, mm. seventy is supposed to be normal. You know what I mean? I look closely. It's a picture. It's not an actual hydrogometer. <laughs> <laughs> so from the outside looking oh. through the glass, you're gonna say, "Oh, it must be fresh." Oh no, it's not. No, <laughs> no. Close the and door. I've- Close the door. Give me a pack of backwoods. I'll be fine. I don't care. Mm-hmm. Swisher sweets. Sw- yeah, whatever. Okay. You, right, right. So oh. this is not oh. the amount of effort I put into tonight. I'm just going to switch here. Here's the photo I tweeted on Twitter. I have two lights for when the sun goes down. I got the nice camera set up. I brought out the whiskey. I brought out something to drink. I brought out my extra drink that I could refill. Then I have all the cigar boxes here. And my lighter, and then the cutter, and then like my my knife, just because it fell out of my pocket, and my nice ashtray. So Any, anybody want to tell him he's got a poor connection? What? <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to tell him that, Mister IT. This is the IT guy, right? This is the guy, this is the guy who you want to hire. You know he has a history with laptops. I heard yes. about this. Yes, he does. I mean, what happened, Carlos? This what happened? He what crashed happened? my hard drive. He teleported to my office and crashed my hard drive. I love that. It was just that. sort of like I a Mission that. Impossible thing that he was, you know, landing like this to, so, 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 so the room would not detect motion. Mm-hmm. Carlos, Carlos, I beg to differ. I've seen the stuff you post. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that security that security vault at Carlos's house. Is. Exactly. <laughs> or or, that, or talking Jeez. about the priest, talking about the priest who passes out and the statues who cry and stained glass that cracks. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Your VPN, your VPN's working overtime, my friend. My VPN is always on, buddy. Let me tell you, <laughs> every device I have is on a VPN, and no, I will not turn it off. No thanks. All right. no, I want to thank Frank. Are you, you running that right now, though, Carlos? Yes, I'm on one right now. 
because um, Jason and I um, notoriously turn off our VPNs now because uh, when we're streaming and doing stuff like this, it um, actually degrades the quality of the stream. So, my VPN, so. my VPN is it goes full bore. I will test as fast on my VPN as I do off my VPN. Now, I'd be Let's... curious if you're still on the VPN at that point. I am. Hmm. Hmm. Carlos is not using a gas. Trace route. Carlos ain't using a gas station <laughs> VPN, Frank. I mean, that's see, yeah. Jim knows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might Someone be running on a Raspberry Pi. But... Yeah, it says guest yeah. on it. Does it say guest? <laughs> it. Uh, Carlos' I, I VPN says VP uh, FBI surveillance van. Yeah, yeah, scares everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Did I tell you about that, Jim? Have I, have I told you guys about that? I, no. You have, but uh, let's let's share it for the stream. Refresh so, it, yeah. yeah. So, he, a, a really great friend of mine is a financial advisor. At the time, he had an office downtown Fort Wayne, Indiana, in the same building that the ATF has their office. Mm. Okay, literally one floor below the ATF. All right, it's a friend of mine. He asked, you know, he, he doesn't have the needs for a big IT company. And I, I take care of his IT as a favor. And he needed a new router. And his new router came set up so that he could do guest networks. And I asked him, hey, this is, you know, this is what we can do with this router. Do you want to do that? And he said, no, no. Ideal financial stuff. I don't want to expose anything in any way, shape, or form whatsoever. Blah, 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 blah. No problem. No big deal. But me being me, I set up the AP for the guest network to be FBI surveillance van number, you know, some random number. Right. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I set up a password on it to beat the band, right? So good luck. Well, a couple of weeks go by and I get a call from my, bu my bu buddy. I won't, I won't you know, divulge his name here. Mm -hmm. uh, Comes with Frank. Uh, it wasn't Frank. Let's call him Frank. Who work, a Frank who works on laptops. Let's call him Frank. <laughs> yeah, who's worked on laptops and, before. And my buddy is, is a few years older than me, and he, go, he calls me up. And I'm like, hey, buddy, how you doing? He goes, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I start every conversation with you, Carlos. <laughs> and I said, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. What are you talking about? He goes, what did you do? I said, a little more information, buddy, because I, 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 I've done a lot of things. I don't know what we're talking about. He goes, yeah, which time? I have the ATF in my office right now, and they say they directionally found an FBI surveillance van in my office. What <laughs> did you do? Well, uh, the ATF is very competent, apparently. So in not in so, infamously so, incompetent. Yeah. So so apparently the ATF and the FBI kind of like you know. Yeah. And one of their agents decided to you know pop up his op his laptop and saw the FBI surveillance van and they freaked out. So they went direction finding and narrowed it down to my buddy's office. I'm like, no no big deal, buddy. I will remote into your office right now and take care of this. He goes, absolutely not. You're coming here. Physically, you're telling these folks that you did that because I am not taking the blame for this. And I'm like, no, I'm fixing it remotely right now. I'm not showing up to your office with the ATF there, bud. See ya. Should have called Tank Radio. Tank, quick, remote into my laptop. <laughs> you know, Car Carlos, I'm on my way, buddy. Just give me the that asshole pulling. that I am. I would have probably gone to the office and and told the atf guy show me on the wheel of feelings where it hurts you <laughs> <laughs> the last thing i need is that to have a flag on my file where i can't buy things because i piss off some atf guy <laughs> mm -mm, no hey thanks guys, listen hey guys bad enough you already go to illinois we're Carlos, 21 minutes look... into their show mm -hmm. uh, and, and there's a lot of people watching it. i just want to just quickly get some uh, mm -hmm. procedural things as well as just want to thank a lot of a bunch of people here mm -hmm. we're gonna um i want joe brett to say a few things i want to thank to and jim and tank and carlos some other people may be popping in this week is three years this is our third actually it was going to be saturday night 
is actually our anniversary, but I think trying to get us together to do a live show on Saturday night was just going to be too many conflicts as well. So we didn't want a conflict. With, with <laughs> Nobody would be sober. Time. Right. Well, or, <laughs> you know, who says, or, who says or anybody's maybe, sober now? <laughs> right. Or maybe, or maybe they're at Walmart shopping. Who knows what they're doing? But anyway, it's been three years since this show started. We've had a, a tremendous amount of people come through the clubhouse doors, pulled up a chair. We've had some good times. We've had some sad times. We've had so many times where I think we walked out laughing our asses off and our spouses and, and everyone were like, what, what's so funny? Um, you know, I think Joe Brett's Twitter post said it best today of, you know, we have never claimed that we're going to talk about electronics. We never claimed we we're going to talk about something so sophisticated that even the Einsteins of the world were going to get excited and sit down and watch us. We decided to find our own little niche and sometimes talking about some things that are non ham radio related with a bunch of hams could be just as fun. And uh, Joe Brett was 100 uh, percent right. Um yeah, unfortunately, uh, uh, Shane is not here tonight. He has a, a major commitment that he had to take care of. I know, I know, Molson's working. Molson's got some stuff going on. He may pop in. We're not sure. Beer snack. You never know. He may just parachute into himself. Some other people, but I, but I really wanted to thank those here or on screen. Those are are in our chat watching us. We have 177 people watching us right now, and. Um, we can't do this without you. We don't want to do this without you on Tuesday night. This is our, you know, this is our therapy in, in a lot of ways. This is our fun, fun time to just, you know, just relax, you know, throw our shirt off and make fun of e make fun of each other in, in good jet. Frank, keep your shirt on right now or we're going to. Please. <laughs> oh please. God. I'm just in Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. Your shirt on. Please. Yes, Finger right. on you the dump not... button. Right, you are not Shane, and you're not in Mexico right now. So, <laughs> Steve, yeah, you want to talk? Steve, you want to say something? Go ahead. Yes, yeah, you're here. Thanks to the guys in the green text and chat. You know, you guys keep us going um, with the memberships, allow us to do what we do. And without you guys here every week, we'd have no reason to be here. We'd probably go back to the old Discord days, and God knows that's not safe for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> hang, hang on. I, I, I have two things to say. One that's important and the other one that's funny. Those of you that are on the Clubhouse show chat, you need to go look for an image that was just recently posted there. Funny as hell. Uh, and that out of the way. Uh, I think Don and Steve have missed an important aspect on the discussion here. And that is that Clubhouse has helped at a, a quantity of amateurs getting them on the air getting them better set up and it all comes from you all putting this thing together and people dropping a buck here and a buck there and you all foregoing taking that for yourself and saying no we're going to help the amateur community out and get some radios and get some antennas and get some coax and put people on the air so tip of the hat to those of you that are the core of hammer to clubhouse for doing what you do because you are helping the community by doing what you're doing. Oh, well, thank you. So thank, thank you. you, Jody. Thanks for the 15 months. Um, and appreciate the, sh the shout out there. And Andy Kelly, mm. also 15 months. Mm. Congrats on the three. Years. You know, guys, I was thinking mm. the other night, Andy shows up mm. on Monday night nuggets. Mm -hmm. I I'm sure he's there on Thursday nights, right guys? He's there on oh, Thursday yes. nights. Yes. And he's always he, everywhere, man. He's yeah. on Jason's show. I think he's on 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 Josh's show, and every and, and all these other shows. And the guy's time it's like five hours different, right? Oh, at least he's yeah. five Listen. or six hours different. So, guys, you do your math right now. There. <laughs> Hold on, time out, Andy. Hold on. What's wrong with this picture? I'm Nothing. Counting... <laughs> there's there's something physically wrong. That's probably not because of the FBI surveillance van Wi-Fi. That's probably because of the channel that shall not be named in Discord. <laughs> that too. Um, wait a thinking... minute. Wait. Wait a minute. There's three legs. Yes. Yeah. Three le is there? Yeah. Hey, well, well, look, I, I'm Puerto Rican. What can I say, fellas? <laughs> oh, Lord. oh Lord. Right, Carlos. 
<laughs> you know, like, wait a minute. I'm count. I'm counting legs. I'm like, wait a minute here. <laughs> they they oh, called right. me. They called me tripod. So you know, <laughs> <laughs> you're dreaming. Yes, <laughs> only in my dreams, but. <laughs> I was dreaming, thinking of the, dreaming I was is free. Thinking, I was thinking of NAYO's post earlier. To, was it yesterday or to, I believe it was Mike regarding the uh, peg leg about the peg leg and the splinters? But we can't. That's all we're gonna say here. If if you're on that channel, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And we yeah. laughed our asses off at work today with that. That's all I gotta say. Uh, Everyone thought you need a good laugh. Yeah. All right, yeah, thanks getting back. Ed, thank you again. Ed and so many people have come into this show in three years, and we do oh, it for the love of just want to just want to hang out. Joe Brett, what do you think? Uh, can you hear me loud and clear? Yeah. Five oh nine flowers, brother. So no, we I had this you. idea come up uh, behind the scenes from another group of individuals that like to get together and watch the show. And I've been trying to rack my brain the first half of the show on how to route my audio to make this happen. And I made an incredible audio loop a while ago that gave me a headache. So I didn't know if I was even talking anymore. But you're fine. You're fine. 157 shows, 156 <laughs> weeks, three years. So maybe we should have talked about that last week. But Joe, Joe, Brett, who do we blame? Do we blame Molson? Because remember, uh, after yeah. our first show, he's like, guys, we can't do this once a month. We got to do it weekly. And what we kind of looked at him. That was decided before the show ended. You don't remember my face? Uh, yeah. I we agreed. He said that once a month. And then somebody says, see you next Tuesday. I'm like, wait a minute. That, that's not in our see you, contract. See you next Tuesday. See you NT. See you next Tuesday. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Joe yeah. Brett's pulling out the contract. Wait a minute. Let me go talk to my lawyer. Man. See, are you in a new truck? No, not okay. a new truck. Nope. But think of all the. You think of all the friends. I mean, Jim. <laughs> I listen. I never would have met Jim, mm -hmm. and so many other great people who have just come, Carlos, Frank, just come out and hang out and everything. Uh, you know, you know, Jim has his brand new fishing, his new brand new was that a Columbia fishing shirt on today. Uh, you know, uh, and he went with a black one. Just yeah, I guys. thought he was going to go with orange. I figured hey, he was going to go with orange. He's in mourning. He can't orange. believe orange. you guys have made it three I'm, years. I'm, I'm <laughs> still amazed that the yeah, I thought the yeah. TROs would have taken care of this mess Let's a while back. Yeah. But, you know, the bots. Let's see if the, Jim knows about the features that he's wearing. Jim, Jim has no idea. Go for it, Joe that, Brett. Go for it. Little logo on your shirt. It's got a little Velcro, right? Yep. What is that strap for? Don't tell him, Chad. Sunglasses, I guess. No, son. No, son. So when you That's need to rebait your hook, you uh, put your fishing pole there so you don't have to hold your fishing pole and do your hook at the oh, same time. Oh, look at this. This is that. why we do this on Tuesday night. It is, it is professional fishing gear, Jim. I, listen, she buys the shirts. I like the shirts. We're why not. would you That's need to unvelcro that to put your sunglasses in it? I don't know. I've never unvelcroed it until man. just yeah. now. Hard way in life, ain't it? He never knew it was Velcro. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I knew it was Velcro. I know it has a convenient pocket for the lav mic right there or to carry my glasses in. Or yeah, the you new know. You didn't realize you was wearing such fancy uh, clothes. It's got there. armpit vents and whatnot so I can right. air, air my pits out Oof. while I'm walking. So not only right. well, in our, in our situation, sure. you, you're probably not going to use it to hold your fishing pole much. But, you know, maybe while you're uh, getting your, uh, what's your spider beam or your... Yes, right or something yeah, right you know? who are you kidding about the sleeves who are, who are you kidding joe he's never been fishing his line's never been wet oh oh no i oh. he's never got the pole <laughs> up either right? how about your I'm arms i'm just leaving that alone sleeves. i'm just leaving that alone i'm just leaving Big that Jim, alone your, <laughs> i'm trying i'm trying to keep it clean here do your sleeves roll up or or are they naturally that short you know no, your guns that, are? that's the yeah. that's the length that's the length so I got a marine store right around the corner from me. I'm now because of what what Joe Brent said. I'm gonna go buy one. I'm gonna go buy one of those shirts, and I'm gonna wear it next Tuesday. All right, you ain't hold, got nothing to call the door, Commander. Well, I'll find something to use that that little flap. And for. you know, actually, Joe Brett, what I thought this was for is to hang your radio on because that's how we rolled in the fire department. We had a pocket Correct. for a radio, right? Correct. And that's where I would hang my AT. That's what it's for. My ANSI 3 gear always has that. One's for the badge, and one is for the PTT hook. Right. And it's not for the fangs either. Multi. That's right. <laughs> yeah, if it'll hold the fang, you know. 
Yeah. Or the well, it's probably this is probably more for the the mic, the remote mic cable thingy. But yep, yep. yep. Grab your remote mic, Jim. Let's see it. Brian, thanks for Don't, the fourteen month. Shout never out. liked them. Don't have one. Why? Because uh, oh. it has Why? a tendency if I'm not wearing my turnout coat as it's laying on the truck seat to get butt pressed. And then oh. my language is a little colorful and violates most FCC regulations on a good day. So I understand. We know that. that. Yes, so we, many we, we have seen the Hayden video. <laughs> Hayden might have taken some screen. artistic my liberty with that. No, not at all. No, there's any number of guys that carry those things. I hate it. I, I freaking hate it. The only time I ever used it is on a scene. And because it's got the water... Uh, intrinsically safe environment connector you got to screw it on and so i just almost never used it it's handy if you're in turnout gear but other than that it's just irritating well the new apx the new speaker mics for the apx are incredible with five or six elements it'll pick up your audio from from anywhere you no longer have to talk directly into it uh a cord that's made for i think a uh, thousand degrees or 1500 degrees of heat durability not oh yeah i mean we had we we carried Kenwood TK thirty one eighties with the Kenwood speaker mics, but I just I just didn't personally care for having the speaker mic on it most of the time. Right. Some guys, you're right. Some guys I've seen in the fire service do not will not use it. Hey, preference. What's all about yeah. preference? Now, what about your other pockets on your right hand side? How many pockets do you have over there? Uh, it's got another glasses pocket right there glasses. for another sure. lav mic holder you know and then the regular pocket pocket where do the new ports go jim the new ports go in my pants pocket where i can easily snatch them out keeps them warm oh you don't you don't keep your uh your uh, squares up there no nah, uh -uh. oh i would have lost a bet on that one too mm -hmm. you can't you can't do that in the military because the man will come down on you like a ton of bricks in the military we had to carry them in our socks Carlos should know that. I'm sure the army was the same way. Well, I didn't smoke in the time. I didn't smoke cigarettes anyhow. So I didn't have to worry about that. I carried my, I, I carried my cigars. I didn't smoke. Let me correct that. <laughs> I <laughs> smoked, <laughs> not cigarettes. I smoked cigars at the time. And uh, I, I would just carry my cigars in my cargo pocket. Don't tell my boss. <laughs> right. Carlos, I'm older than you. When I got in the military, we didn't have those BDUs yet. We had green fatigues with no cargo pockets. Oh, there you skinny, go. Let's skinny see. man jeans, skinny man mm -hmm. BDUs. Yeah, in, the, in basic training in tech school, you couldn't, they didn't want you carrying your cigarettes in your pocket, especially in basic training. So they sold plastic containers at the BX that would hold your cigarettes. Get out and of then here, really? We all carried them in, in our socks. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody was making a buck even back then. Mm -hmm. That was for the Air Force and the military went PC and they don't want anybody smoking. We used to smoke at our desks in the office. So the guys like, roll them up in their sleeves. Mm -hmm. Right. They a probably lot of do that now. Right you could hide a whole pack of cigarettes in rolled up BDU sleeves. Yep. Even cigarettes like Carlos smokes. So. <laughs> well, you know. The, the funny smelling green ones. Oh, I get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Boy, so I wish I could. Three years. That's amazing. I, I'm uh, I'm proud of you guys. It's a good thing that you yeah. kept the show going. Because, you know, I'll, having been in car for two years yeah. now, the hardest thing we have, that I have personally, is coming up with a show sometime. I was going to say, they, they've been doing this for three years, even after they've run out of stuff to talk about. That's right. I know. That's what's <laughs> amazing. Have, That's what's amazing, Steve. Hey, you know, they, they had stuff to talk about before? Mm -hmm. I was being nice. It's their anniversary. We just re <laughs> we ju we just recycle some stuff with uh, a different name, mm -hmm. right? And who does your thumbnail artwork? Because your thumbnails are usually on point. Yeah, oh, that would be Shane. 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 Yep. So we need to hire Shane to do thumbnails for the rest of the YouTube channels. Got it. No oh, right. <laughs> mm hmm. Yo. Yes, sir. You are pretty tonight. I don't know. There are okay. 32, Joe. I wasn't going to say anything out loud. I was in the private I, chat over there. I feel Team uncomfortable Brown, now. Really. <laughs> anyway, sure. Hey, T. Hey, T. L. Without um, what T. T. Without getting in too too deep for for both of us. Do you remember some of our conversations you and I had four or five years ago? I said I can't do this. I sh I don't know what to do. And you were there for me, man. You were there. I was. for me, giving giving me 
advice, staying in it, hang in there. It'll be okay. A lot of shit has gone down in my personal life, and I still have taken that. Uh, I tell you very sincerely, I've taken some of those things you said to me, and I've applied it in, in, in other forms of my life. And I owe a lot of gratitude to you, um, along along with so many others. But you, like like I, like in a box of pizza, there's 12 slices. You're one of those slices for me. So thank you. So Don, I don't you. know whether to say thank you or to say, like, in my defense, I might have been drunk at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were having a Forrest Gump moment or something. I, I will I second. Like a box of pizza. He's a, second, box, he's a box. Of, he's in a box of chocolates. I'll second <laughs> Don's uh, statement. Uh, Steve's always been a super handy, super helpful, and uh, always willing to give me a hand with the things that I need to ha get done in my channel. And uh, so, yeah, dude, thank you. Yeah, I love you all, man. You guys are brothers, man. That's right. See, see, no tears. I love you. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, my my favorite moment of all time of all the call of houses I watched, and I watched pretty much all of them, is the one time. Joe Brett's wife came in and got him and said, He's done, y'all. <laughs> He's done. He's, He's done, done. y'all. She was, he was the done. chaperone. The chaperone comes in. <laughs> <laughs> Who let Mike in? <laughs> Some yeah. dummy. There goes the neighborhood. Wait. <laughs> Mike, Mike is our our non-designated driver tonight. <laughs> oh boy. I'm, I'm drinking water. Speaking of uh, speaking of Joe Brett's beautiful wife, make sure you tell her I says hi tonight. I will. I will. Yeah, I was watching a video of yours the other night. She walked by. Oh, that's To. Yes, that's To. <laughs> Click like and subscribe. That's right. <laughs> Let me ask you guys. Let me ask you guys. So when 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 you guys are all off the air and you're sitting around the campfire on the couch. You know, Downton Abbey is on, or you know, whatever. Dancing uh, with local, the stars. Dancing with the stars at Ape's house, um, or you're having <laughs> no. dinner. Do you? Does your spouse or somebody, your kids, say, "Hey, uh, I saw Joe Brett doing this," or that Joe Brett guy is pretty cool? It, is it? Is it? Is because I know I've had it in my family, and it just started turning into normal, fun family times, talking about everybody in a very positive light. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, I mean, I, I got to say, none of us are real, you know, jerks around here. So it's it's hard to say mean things about us. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Except sorry, that sorry Mike, show. I didn't see you come in. Yeah. <laughs> Except for when Frank touches Every somebody's laptop, has that then we all get a little upset. Yeah. Yeah. That if, sound if you is you can't tell there's a lot of back. love in this group, <laughs> then you're you're really uh, you probably should see a therapist or something this yeah. is this is how grown folks um, hang out and love each other and and talk and share stories and have fun mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kumbaya, grown folks. Baby. so who was, a, okay, go ahead, who was around when we were doing the um the orlando poda meetup and i saw a uh, smart jason or antenna jason had his oh god bulb out there <laughs> and i was like hey jason. I was like, Jason, man, can I get on your laptop to do a lives of digital? He goes, No, man, I don't want you fucking up my laptop like you did, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and mine. <laughs> Frank, that's gonna follow you for a very long time, you know. Oh, really yeah, how'd you screw up Carlos's computer all the way across the country? <laughs> he teleported. Jeez. Yeah. Is that VPN? <laughs> Carlos like trusted Frank the VPN uh, that, that Frank sister, recommended. So yeah. But what was the reason? Was it for like a Windows update or a, 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 a some type of iOS? I mean, what was it? What what were you? You know, hey, I, I'll I, fix this for you. Just no, I mean, I without getting there. without getting personal with personal details. But like, what was the topic? What was the reason? I got on Mike's laptop when he was out filming B roll and doing his video stuff, so Looking that we porn. could join um, N3FJT <laughs> or P. I'm keep saying T. Um, to You're thinking about the, uh, TNA, Wi-Fi right? network. Porn. So I just joined the Wi-Fi network, got on there, and uh, path to my computer that was hosting the server, and I, I synced it up. I, I hit a, I did a, a log, make sure the contact worked, deleted it, and it was good. And then I walked away for about forty minutes. That so the virus it. came from Frank's network. I think there that's you what go. My network or the porn. I mean, the sites that Frank had been perusing. That computer's too slow to watch porn on. I'm told. 
<laughs> You're told. <laughs> He's the told. $80, the, the $80 laptop. <laughs> they just made porn illegal in Texas, so, you know, nothing to worry about. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, uh, we were talking about that at the cigar shop, and it was, it was it's funky, man. You have to verify your age, but it's only Pornhub and red tube and affiliates around it and i was like what so it's very Frank. why do you know so much there. about this <laughs> that, that's uh, what we, i'm wondering yeah, walk back in at the wrong time on that frank one you have to be that, like what right. was that one called no frank put that list in alphabetical order too and he can say it backwards so you know <laughs> Trent, <laughs> thanks Tex forearms are the size of my thigh. <laughs> he's like, he's like right. Quagmire when he found out there was free internet porn. <laughs> he hasn't been seen in like two months, and he comes outside to get the mail. His, whole, his right arm is like, oh his eyes are all baggy and tired. He's got no energy. Wait, wait, did I just find a picture of Frank? What? What? There it is. <laughs> 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 Look at that right Thank arm. You, Send that to me. Send that to me. It's going in my knee folder. Send oh my me. god. <laughs> Diggity. Oh boy. Holding that any tone eight seven eight two. I wonder if it's charged. No. Probably not. Of course not. No. <laughs> it's worn out like his other arm is. <laughs> Too many spurious emissions. Oh. <laughs> is that what we're calling it now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you give him way too much credit boys <laughs> oh. so are we talking Please. radio tonight guys so we actually we why would we change the theme I, after I, our three I years got, yeah. i have got a radio topic i've got a radio topic well so we got a yeah. question me, from tony well go and, with tony first i was gonna I'll, poll the crowd yeah well oh. i'm actually gonna poll the panel here what do you guys think about the FX4 CR? I think it's worth an FTDX 1200. Yes, it is. <laughs> is this some that's new it, that, micro radio? Yeah, it, it's not new. It's a couple of years old now. It's a it's a little 20 watt, uh, you know, army green so radio uses. that comes in a plastic go box. It's a nice radio. That's what Jeff uses on all his activations. Okay, yeah, oh, I've yeah, not used you... one, but I've I've held it. And uh, it's, it seems pretty cool. It, Tony, it uh, needs my... a, a battery and a tuner. Other than that, right. it's great. Right. That was uh, my question. Does it so it doesn't tune like a G, uh, G90 does? No, not at all. No. <laughs> not, not a bit. It, it's not, not even close. Friend, tuner in it. So our friend Kevin K0KLB in Iowa has one. You go to his channel K0KLB, and you'll mm -hmm. see many many videos that he has using that uh, sitting on the John Deere, and I don't know if he's loading up a silo sitting on the John post, Deere. Or, or, whatever <laughs> but With he actually likes that radio so again you know it's just like cigars it's just like everything mm -hmm. it's just like you know what what shirt is jim going to be you know, be be wearing it it's all personal choice and um you know what you what know, have we learned great way to, At, radio yeah every radio has its pros and cons i think we learned that when the when the uh, when that whole zygu line came out right steve right uh, I, mean, I mean everybody all yeah. of a sudden you know, and the same thing with the 705. The pros and cons came out with that, and then, you know, Yezu's line, and and your T radio, your TID, your TID radios, and, and your radio radios, or whatever <laughs> crap. You know, you, oh, exactly. It, everybody has a, a a thing that they like about it, and sometimes the con list is longer than the pro list. So tuners are overrated. Spark Gap is killing ham radio. That's right. <laughs> I was say, but how, how else are you going to tune up a deer stand? Oh, there we go. I uh, yeah. I had my G90 go box at the go box challenge on Saturday, and you won. And I did mm -hmm. win. Nice, congratulations! Look at, look at that. Oh, look at go. that. Nice. Wait, which way does it go? There it is. That way. Oh, there. there. Yep. That way. Yep. Hold it right there. Yep. <laughs> People's Choice 2024. Yep. Nice. So um. For giggles, I took the signal stick off of my VHF Go box and I plugged it into the BNC of my G90 Go box. Would you believe it tuned up on 20 meters? At like a 1.5 to 1 SWR, no counterpoise, and I was hearing stations. Wow. Not That's very awesome. well, 
using the metal of the box as the as the antenna. There's no metal in the box. It's all plexiglass yeah. and plastic. How the hell? The only they... metal in the box are the four bolts that are holding it together. Just proof that tuners don't do anything useful. It found a match. Hmm. And I was hearing FT8 stations. I heard a I heard a Papa 5 hmm. station, wherever Papa 5 is. It's crazy. South of the border. So yeah. maybe I'm done using long antennas. I'm just going to use a signal stick on 20 meters now. 20 meters, 2 signal meters. Signal sticks for life. You know? Oh, yeah, Lord. Stick, <laughs> hand stick. Yeah, what's 220, two, 220, 230, 240, yeah, whatever. Whatever it takes. Whatever. Whatever I've, it put takes. 100, I've put 100 watts through a signal stick, and it, it held up. Sure. I think, they're actually, I think he says it's okay to do that on the website. Yeah, they're rated I, for 100 watts. I didn't know that. I mean, I've done it, yeah. I, I thought it was metal just, wire. You know, I thought it was just going to fuse a, a piece of wire, but it didn't. <laughs> I wonder if you have one of the glow-in-the-dark ones. If you put enough juice through it, it'll spontaneously glow. <laughs> is Papa Five North Korea? Does North Korea have hams? Well, they do. Uh, they're just not supposed to be on the radio. They, they, they can't afford ham, man. They're way too poor. They don't have the I don't know. They don't even have rice, man. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I heard a DX station. So screw you and your shenanigans, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I got a question. I got a question for the panel here. Take it, I want, a, I want opinions. Oh so boy. I I got a VX2 off of OfferUp.com, nice. and it came today, and I was all excited as I opened the box because I know it's a Yaesu VX2, and indeed it is a Yaesu VX2. Well, it's a copy Switched. of the Bofang UV3. Tiny. It, yeah, it's exactly. We. It's it's we. I mean, you can J see Jim has small hands too, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to use both hands for certain things. Yes, that's true. I was going to say, so, put it up against the dollar bill. Let's see. That's how. why that shirt has a lot of pockets. Um, right. No, seriously, so, about the size, about the size, about the size of a pack of uh, pack of uh, Newports. Seriously, smaller, smaller. smaller. Yeah. Really? Well, let me go. Uh, yeah. uh, see, the Newports are all sitting out in the, my smoking pit. That is so you need a bow fang for scale. So yeah, I don't have a fang. Um, I got a turd pod. What else have I got over yeah. here? Turd pod will work. Anything will but work, it, man. It's green. You can't see it. So there's the 5D. Look at oh, that. wow. It is. How's the audio? So, so what's the story about OfferUp? Where are we going with this besides size? Yeah. Oh, so I get this from OfferUp. 200 bucks plus tax and shipping, right? No charger. No spare battery. It's dead as a hammer. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to debate if I'm going to tell the kid, uh, son, you can have it back. So I don't know. What's your thoughts? Send it back. I don't even Absolutely. know. Absolutely. The, an on. the antenna's got the signature Yesu lean. It does. Yeah, it does. It does. Sitting, it's just like... sitting in the back pocket. Sitting in the back pocket. Mm -hmm. It does. I mean, I fact, mean, is it legit? Is it a legit Yesu VX2? Like pop it open, FCC ID. Does it charge with a regular Yesu charger? Does it? It requires hold a, charge? a specific charger uh, that I don't have. The charger on was... this is is a barrel jack. On the side, and that was is that... not disclosed. Nope. There's how two hundred dollars is a lot of money for for half a radio. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of honked it's about not it. Not the same size as the other Yesu barrel jacks. Uh, this is four four dot one by one point seven yeah, or whatever jacks it is. Are pretty small. Mm -hmm. Trying Try to find me in there. Five. I mean, don't don't plug it into the wall. Plug it into the radio first. <laughs> I've got the just charger it, base just, for the five D. Just see if it I don't fits. Know. Well, you know, Jim, the That's the MSRP. The yes, I could. The buy, MSRP can... on that radio was two hundred and thirty dollars. Yeah. Back That's, in the day. Yeah. You know, if you pay two hundred bucks, and it did... how old? How old? How old's the radio? Nineties. Mm, I'd say this is late nineties, early aughts. I'm yeah. looking that up. All right, so we're talking at least a twenty-year-old radio. Yeah. Can you throw it on a power supply, plug it in, and, put, and see if it powers up, and you know, put it on? Oh, I could do a know. lot of things to make it work. I probably got a, an adapter I could wire one up. But my point is not disclosed. One battery, dead as a hammer. I messaged the yeah. kid, and I know you have no idea if it works. Did you use PayPal? Uh, yeah. No Get your credit money card. Back. Credit no. card. Mm. Yeah, Offer up. I don't even know if they have PayPal, but. Yeah, I, I so far, I, I messaged him, and he seems to be nice. Um, he didn't give me any lip. Well, he we thought that works. about you, too. 
Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. He said it works. The battery must have died. Any issue, and I'll definitely take a return. Can they I give you new, a suggestion? They have new battery and chargers online. You can buy those on eBay. Dude, you guys do a lot on Monday nights. There's there's your mon there's your next Monday night show right there. Well, bring so him on. Will it work? Two hundred bucks. It'll be. I will no, be glad for this to be on Monday night show. show. Bring him on the show, and you guys talk about the radio. You, I see oh, what you guys court? do with Monday night. No, not a ham court session. Give no. Bring the guy on. Let him talk about the radio. That's you're good for an hour ninety minutes. That's I got a, a feeling. Show. I got a feeling he may or may not be a ham, because his offer up store has a lot of crap on it. And by crap, yeah. I mean like somebody. He didn't know what he had. Yeah, I don't think he does. I uh, I I've been on the lookout for an Ellicraft in the area, and those of you that are in the know know why. Okay. <laughs> um. And uh, I, I found a listing recently, not for an Ellicraft, but for a CB radio, and it's a Motorola, mm. it's a Motorola 440 uh, radio. And I'm thinking, tell me this piece is stolen without telling me this piece is stolen. Mm -hmm. Right. You I'm call it a CB radio, uh, you don't know your head from your ass. I'm tempted to tell the kid if he if he's because I, I I priced two batteries and a charger on Amazon, and it's like fifty bucks. And I'm tempted to tell the kid if he if he cuts in twenty five PayPal's me twenty five bucks. I guess. Yeah, I think that that's I think a, that'd be fair. But assuming the radio works, starting fifty, like, let him talk you down to twenty five. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's, a good, that's a good. I point. still say a Monday night show because I've seen what you guys have done with SDR dongles and this and that. Oh, we'll make it work. You'll make it work. That's right. And oh, by we'll the end it. of the show, I, one I way or another, that we'll, that's we'll right. Make, They'll make it work or they'll blow it up one way or the other. The yeah. show is show, the show's going to have content. Right. Yeah. Right. So, to be clear, though, Jim, you haven't actually tried charging it with the ASU charger cable? No, I didn't get here at seven o'clock because I was screwing with this. Mm. I was, I took the battery out. I made sure it was in there the right way. I was pissed. I went and smoked a cigarette, came back, pissed a little more. <laughs> no, I have not put power to it or anything. Okay. A lot of four letter, Fellers. a lot of four letter words with a lot of syllables were being said, weren't there? Well, mm -hmm. I, I think, and I think that's what I'm going to do, Mike. Is after I get done here at this soiree of awesomeness, I'm going to go put some electricity into it and see if I can even get it to turn on and then tell Cletus. Make sure you yeah. record it because when you it starts it. smoking, right. I want that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is what you get on well, offer see, up, that's folks. The reason, that's the reason <laughs> to not put power on it. This thing may be a complete turd waiting to explode on me so mm -hmm. I don't or or it could be a great radio put on it you know what i've always done was i used the one of the one of the local noaa you know weather channels just to hear the audio coming through yeah yeah it might listen, but Tyson, yeah. you may have a you listen you're right you may have a turd or a diamond in the rough this right. is sort of like this is sort of like let's make a deal what should we do mm -hmm. take take the cash that's in monty monty hall's jacket or go what's behind the right. box Door number two. <laughs> John, Always go for door number two. Stolen? Go for door yeah. number two, Carlos. <laughs> Always go for door number two. Always go for door number two. You if don't, I want, had to you guess, don't want what's I in think, the pocket? If I had to guess, I'd say it came from an estate sale. I don't I don't know that it'll show up on camera, but this thing's got a lot of usage dust in the cracks around nice. the buttons and mm. the knobs. It's a restoration project. This old radio on FEP yeah, Live. I, I think it's right. been sitting Monday in somebody's bo in a box in somebody's garage for a minute. The, uh, muffin top adjustment to the antenna there. <laughs> what? All right, fellas, I've lost yeah. my light. I got to head out. I got to get back on the road. Yep. Happy Thanks anniversary. Happy birthday. Thank whichever you. one you want to call Steve. it. Steve, yeah. Steve thank you. you. See you later. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you, made balloons. Oh, I can do better than that, dude. Look at this. Yeah, you should get lasers for that one. <laughs> just, yeah. just the head, too. That's the best part. Oh, so I know, I know we don't do maths on live streams. Right. But oh, I've, I've got to I've got to say my piece here and then I got to I got to jet because I'm I'm somebody is creeping up on my number one spot at Huntsville oh. State Park. So I've been I've been out there every day this week, and I'm going to go out and just do an activation all day tomorrow just to pad that lead a little bit more. Okay. Totally understand. Yeah, but uh, so congratulations on three years. Now I want to preface this with I am no math expert, and I am not a smart guy. But 
Here comes the butt. Here Ooh. comes the butt. I've got a calculator a for, for help. If we turn it sideways, it's a you know even even fancier scientific calculator. But we won't need the scientific. Spell shot oil. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, type eight zero zero eight one that's three a, s and turn it that's up. That's what down. I was going to say, but I was, I was already doing that. I was going to be good, Jim. I can't spell and I can't do numbers. So, so each show is roughly two hours, right? Uh huh. And there's, I think, fifty two weeks in a year still. Correct. Correct. Real, yeah. And then Most times the time. times three years, and then divided by twenty four. Gives us 13 days of time that I have wasted watching <laughs> the stream, <laughs> not talk about ham radio. You'll, You'll never get them. it back. This You'll may be about a, been about a half an hour in all those 13 days where ham radio was abs was actually discussed. You're welcome. Uh, you crazy. forgot about leap year. No, we had Callum on the show one. You you can subtract uh, uh sixty minutes. And... All right, so maybe maybe one hour of that thirteen days about Dude, him Callum, radio. Callum was on, and I love it, hours, and I love you guys, and I love coming here every Tuesday. Um, and I would hang out more, but I got shit to do tomorrow. Mike, you're not Mike, number gotta, one there. Mike, I am number right. one there. I, I was going to say I tried to work right. you earlier, but couldn't hear you. Yeah, same boat. Going on yeah, the alert. bands have been shit lately. Well, yeah. we we did have a solar uh, issue yesterday. That's probably continuing through today. So mm. that makes sense. Uh, keep you know keep up with Tabitha. She she has a great little she channel. On I got a j -j -j geocron right here that's got <laughs> yeah, the but, solar uh, terrestrial data, uh, and it uh, says poor, right next to twenty meters. That doesn't poor. put her out of business. That doesn't put her out. I, I love watching her. You uh, learn a lot from her. I just go. Hey, out. I mean, I started ham radio in the bottom of the solar cycle, so yeah. I you know, made seventy three contacts today, Mike. Before you nowhere go, nowhere to go but up, right, Mike? Before you go, done. Last couple of weeks, you have been promoting. You did it two weeks ago on this show and in, in your own and your own channel and stuff about some of the changes going on with Poeta. We still continue. Oh, yeah. to see, we still continue to see some people who are still asking questions, including the question of how should I say uh, U.S.? Should I say you know, Uncle Uncle Steve? Should I say United States? Should I say just Uncle United? Sugar? Uruguay yeah. Sugar. <laughs> Uruguay Sugar. <laughs> so that's a great question, and that actually starts tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. We're yep. going to be U.S. So tomorrow, guys. So don't forget. So. To say US. Negative, sir. Negative, sir. Started already. We we're past the UTC day. That means it started Ooh. already. Yeah, yeah, that's true. true. That's true. So, so Uruguay, Sierra Leone, is that the, the official? Uruguay, division? what's a longer <laughs> word that begins with S? Uruguay, Sierra Syracuse? Leone? Saxophone. Saxophone. Urugo oh. Sam Squamch. <laughs> Sasquatch, there you go. Uruguay, <laughs> Sam Squamch. So Sam I, just, I just looked on the spotter. It is not showing on the spotter yet. Yeah. I'm still seeing kilo stations on it the spotter. It takes time for people to adjust. So yeah. if you So, like, if you spot yourself and you put U.S., Three zero one nine. What does that do? Uh, let's try it. Go for it, Steve. We'll do it live. Do a, do Steve, live. do a hey, Steve, Uterus. do a, do a, do a, a U.S. <laughs> test. The Urology US stream. Test. Yes. Urology, Urology stream. stream. Oh, that's yes. And oh, that's awesome. J U R wins. Eric, Eric, that's a T-shirt from those boys up in New England. Park not found. Huh. Dun, 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 dun. So, Interesting. Uh, does it still allow you to post though? Steve, do a do a, a U.S. test instead of a K test. Do a U.S. test. That's what he's doing right now. Where I'll just do it seven two zero oh, oh. zero. There you go, seventy two hundred. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh, that would be great. Oh my God, I want to activate that frequency now. Do it, James has do done it. it. James has still done it. K, yeah. Steve. Hmm? Not doing See if it still takes K. Oh, it will. Well, then let's. I think we need to do that. There you go. Put K in a mark. They'll, they'll flock to 7,200. <laughs> exactly. And then there'll be a match about where the hell is Mike at? <laughs> Why are we required to put a, a comment in there? I have yeah, no your point. first time, your first time you do. I know, it's a little frustrating. But, That's but I, always, every time. I always every just put high. You're supposed mm -hmm. to establish the mode that you're working in the fine text there, sir. What? No, you're like down in the noise. You should know that by the frequency you're on. Yep. So yeah, I can yeah, but that doesn't. But look, spot up you there. have to you have to remember that is a gentleman's agreement. That is not required. So I can do voice 
it below the voice yeah. portion perfectly legal i can do cw above the cw portion perfectly legal APRS only. <laughs> <laughs> <Go. Yeah. laughs> APIS, baby. Oh my god, you people are just gangsters. Uh, uh, guys, we we got 300 people watching. Let's not make it more confusing what it is. Just That's go out great. and have some fun tomorrow. That's it. There you go. Salami. I like that. May or may Brian. not be US today or tomorrow yeah. when I go out, but I'm going to say uterus uh Sam Squamsh. <laughs> please, please co don't forget the police copy please now. Copy. You do not forget the police copy. <laughs> Why don't you just give a number instead of the prefix? Uh, yeah, I, I don't give the prefix all the time. I usually just say yeah. 3019. Yeah. But yep, at park 3019. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. You don't even have so, to I give think, the park number. I so. think I'm gonna do an activation this weekend using the K numbers just to make people just <laughs> 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 I'm a kilo four one nine two. Underwear stain's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Underwear stain, yes. That'd be uh, awesome. All right, so I, I I'll be out for many hours. I've I've got my hundred amp hour battery. I've got some new uh, solar panels. I'm going to be using the the uh, new DX commander that I built wrong because I didn't use the right instructions that weren't in the unified Oops. manual. So. Have fun. Hey, somebody Mike, emailed you. me a question about a 710. Interesting. Hey, All right, Mike. guys. Congratulations. And uh, yeah, Carlos. How many DX commanders have you built so far? Uh, five, I think. Just wondering is all. No, I don't read. It's either four or five. I think it's five. <laughs> no reason, <laughs> Carlos. Yep. You but Jason's done a lot of code plex. So, yeah. We're all dying to know, is that the green screen or is he live? And I think screen. we know. No, we think we know he's live. Yeah, that he's, boy's he's, live. He's he is live. Oh, dude, he he is, a lot of music He players. is there. Look at that. He's at the oh candy store. God. Okay, I'm envious right now. Yes. Not right lie, I'm envious. Jason, Have a great one. Hope to catch you on the bye air bye. tomorrow. We'll see you. 7-3, Mike. Three, Mike. Boys, I'm out here, too. Oh, yeah, damn. Jason, you... You you are hurting me now, dude. You are hurting me. <laughs> it's yeah, a neat place, man. Much. Yeah, work, man. Mess me gotta, up. I wanted to be there the, so uh, bad. Freaking music in the background, though. Yeah, there yeah. I'm gonna have to have them. I said I don't care if you guys get demonetized, but I'm gonna have to turn that off from my screen. <laughs> 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 yeah. I see how it is. I mean, let's just friend. be honest here. What a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's also very echo. Hey guys, uh, is I, it? it? Yeah, started it's, out, but it's not now. Listen, while he's fixing that, I think Jim's uh, Jim's bus is, is here because his temporary yes. pass is ending, yep. so he needs to get out of here. Jim, thank oh, you yeah. very, very much. Jim, thank Newport, you. Newport time. Congratulations, fellas. And, uh, <laughs> Newport I hope, time. I hope we're back here in three years making fun of you once again. You will. Yeah. Absolutely. You're right. Right. Yep. We'll see you soon. Y'all are cool. See you, man. See you. Bye. Seven, three, Seven, three. My light died. So how does I just bought this uh, microphone today? How does it sound? Sounds great right now. Natural, very, 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 very natural. It's a little quiet, okay. but I think okay. I don't know. Well, I killed it, the uh, background noise on his audio feed. You did? Yeah, through Streamyard. So. Oh, okay, okay, it, okay. Well, it has a my it has a gain that I can turn up right here. Yeah, when you turn it up, I can pick up the uh, music audio. I know that's why I, I, I've got it turned down all the way, but it's a little. It's a little quiet, but um, this is not an area that's really made for. <laughs> uh, so how is streaming. the store, Jason? What's the scoop? It's awesome. It's great. Uh, yeah, it's uh, six. It's fifty thousand square feet of uh, retail space. the The total building is sixty thousand square feet with all their offices and classrooms and whatnot. But it's about fifty thousand square feet of that of, is beautiful um, retail space. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's great. So if y'all are coming to Huntsville Ham Fest this next August, yep. make sure you take some time to come by here. Can we Definitely. fly a drone inside so that we can actually get a good shot of everything? Yes. <laughs> I actually yeah, asked like... that question today, and I'm probably going to do that tomorrow morning before the doors open to the yes. public. So, yes. Nice. That is... <laughs> yeah. Yes. Right. Hey, guys, while we're at it, we should also be wishing Jason a happy birthday. Yep. I know. Yeah. We're, 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 happy we're birthday, old man. 
Welcome to yeah, the club. Right. Yeah. Welcome yeah, to the OM right. club. Welcome to the to the yeah. AARP OM club. Yeah. Well, you know, welcome to the club. Uh, your Geritol and a, uh, AARP membership is in the mail. Right. See, see on eighty meters. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I <laughs> might have to get on eighty meters. I know. I hear you, man. <laughs> Oof. Talk but that store is very intimidating. That's that. intimidating, oh, yeah. isn't it? You should see ACK's video on it. He did, yeah, he did a video. It's, it's wild, man. man. I did a I did a complete I did like a 30 40 minute walkthrough earlier today, so it's being edited right now, but uh yeah, they've got uh they've got a whole section on uh they call it treasure hunting. It's like uh metal detectors and mm -hmm. and uh um, um what you would call it digging for gold stuff. Um, okay. Got a whole maker supply section. Um they've got uh they've got a lot of they got a lot of this they call it toys and gadgets and it's like uh build your first uh rf kit build your first rf this and that a lot nice. of stuff that's reminiscent of the old radio shack nice. kind of stuff kind of like that and uh they've got yeah. a section they've got a section for podcasters slash content creators oh um, they've got lighting um they got like ring lights and tripods and monopods and um and reflectors like uh white and black reflectors green screens um all kinds of stuff like that um they've got a section here that's not in my video that they set up just like two hours ago about with actually simulated drive video games so you sit down in the game and you drive and the whole thing tilts with you nice oh it's, wow you're it on the they got it going here. on down there they and they're gonna get the on. the flight simulator one is on its way that'll be here before too long oh. um so yeah, a lot of a lot of cool stuff, man. Do they have a skydiving simulator? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> yeah, they put in one of those big fans in the floor that points up, like the exactly. iFly place. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Mm. Haven't seen that yet, though. Well, we're all very we're all very happy for them, and we know they're they're going to do well. It sounds like they mm. have a real nice niche there, and it's just going to keep on going. Uh, whether yeah. it's whether it's Huntsville you know or whatever throughout the rest of the year so we're very very happy for them i know i personally have bought thousands and thousands of of gear from from giga parts and i'm, mm -hmm. I'm happy to to buy more and ooh, now ooh, now ooh. this this is like mm, do i take my my tax refund and go down there mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah this this is an right. incentive you know right, this is right. Like, you know? make sure you tie jason down and tell him answer my email <laughs> uh okay <laughs> He is probably watching right now. Probably. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. You know, Jason gets like 900 emails in an hour. I've oh, sent them emails before, and I just I, I just don't expect a reply unless I see them in person. Right. <laughs> well, well, I but saw he him in person, that. and he told me email yeah. him. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. You got to keep on top of him, though. Yeah. So just follow up with him. Right Here's now, I've one a week. So. I will say this about the folks at, at Giga Parts. Them and probably two, three, four other big vendors, as well as some small ones, they're very, they answer, they communicate with you, they show you what's going on. They're, they're very honest, ethical. Yeah. That's what I like about all the vendors. I, yeah. I personally, I don't play that $5, $10 game cheaper stuff. I really don't. I, I want to support between the little guy on some things, the big guys on some other stuff, spread it around, spread my money around, because mm -hmm. I know I'm getting good value the people who I am supporting, and to me, that's very yep, important agreed. in today's economy. It and really is, guys. Customer service. They're customer yes, service. Agreed. Second, to very nine. true. Their customer service is a plus plus. Even if mm -hmm. you want some refurbished stuff, Steve has got some great, you know, his his whole little world over mm -hmm. there yeah. with all the refurbished stuff. Is I, so I tried good, to talk Steve into people. like giving us a little heads up, like a particular item we was wanting, but he's kind of like you know first come first serve, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I keep, I've asked I him that before too. He's like, yeah. uh, for for yeah. FTM five hundred. There's a there's an eight ninety one here right now, and there's an FT uh, FTM six thousand, and uh, uh, like a twenty twenty nine seventy Yezu. I'm just looking for five hundred. Right, I'm looking for a ninety seven hundred uh, Icom, you know. 500 is probably too new right now. Uh, the 9700, they don't have they don't have one of those right now. But I actually would like a 9700 myself. Oh yeah. Anyone looking for a 706 Mark II G? Because I'll sell mine. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> I sold you know, money one time for a 9700, and then I had to spend it on the front porch or something or escrow account. I don't know. 
Uh-huh. And uh, <laughs> so I saved my money up again, uh, and I was like, getting it. And then I seen the price. I was like, yeah, I must have forgot how much that cost. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 200 short. Price went they off. came. They they were expensive when they came out, and then they dropped the price a pretty good amount, and then COVID happened, so yeah. the price went back up. So everything. Yeah. yeah, that that one's been all over the place. Jason, over to your left shoulder is all the bags. I am turning into a bag guy, yeah. as well as now for all my oh, antennas dude, and everything else. Such a, this is a I'm going. Bag nerd. Yeah, I am. Me too. I am. I've found another niche in our hobby. Oh, so, yes. Look at this. That, if that's this just guys, the explorer bags. That's right. just the Explorer bags. If you look over there, it's a little bit farther away, but it's right there on the yep. other side of this. That's that's the battery boxes there, obviously. Mm-hmm. And then that on that far wall over there, underneath the sign that says treasure hunting, is all of their other sling packs and backpacks and uh, three or four or five variant uh, variations of their Explorer bags over there too. So, um, yeah. So, are, are, oh shoot, Jason, are are they going to get into? Are they going to get into like the maker, or not the maker, but like the component level where you can go and yep. buy resistors and capacitors and? Yes, they have that now. Oh, they have, they have that here now. That. Oh, oh man, very ra- very Radio Shack like, very Radio Shack. And, and really? nice. they don't have Excellent. the selection. They don't have the selection yet that radio. You go into Radio Shack and find stuff you never knew it existed, right? right. They don't have the selection of that yet, but there's a space for it. They've got a bunch of stuff over there like that. They got a whole soldering section. Yeah. Solder your first kit, solder your first RF circuit, solder your first this and the solder. And they've got they've got they got a whole shelf over there of heat shrink. Now that sounds heat shrink, yeah. Who cares? They've got like six foot tall tubes of heat shrink in different colors that are hanging down on the wall. It looks sick. like a bunch of bungee cords over there. Stop it. You're teasing us. Stop it. I love it. And I'm like, <laughs> I went over there and I'm like, what is that? Is that a bungee cord? I was like, holy crap, that's heat shrink. Some of it's all, big all different a, colors, a I bet. All different yes. colors. Yeah, to, ah. all, different yeah colors. all different colors or whatnot. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, Components, man. yes. Yeah. Answer is yes. How so that do they have are they gonna planning to do the same component selection on their website or is that just a store thing? I don't know. I mean, they're in the right market for this. Huntsville's very, very technical. Yeah. So they're definitely yeah. doing this in the right market. Yeah. That you know, that store would never fly in Indiana. It would just die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, really. You know, there. Aside from Raytheon, there's no nobody else in Indiana that has even re- slightly. Well, Carlos, there, there's probably a market for it. It's just that getting the word out and making sure that people know that that is the first selection and the first place they want to go for electronics. I'm sure that there's probably a ton of electronic nerds in Indianapolis, right? There's probably as many in St. Louis as there is in, in Indianapolis that there is in San Francisco, you know, so therefore... We- well, you, had, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised, Carlos. I bet uh, you that there's a ton of people that that really dig electronics in Indianapolis. I, I, I don't doubt that. However, we've had in Indianapolis. We had when I moved here, we had three nothing but electronic stores. Right? We're not talking about Radio Shack. We're talking about just nothing but electronic and electronic right. components. They're all dead. After that, uh, Fry's moved in. It's dead. Uh, Fort Wayne used to have two very dedicated stores, nothing but uh, electronic components, both dead. Uh, another store opened up in the mall following uh, the, the collapse of Radio Shack. It just closed like a month ago. So it just. Well, what, what are those those stores doing that they're not supposed that they're I mean, that well, Fry's, seems... Fry's committed suicide. Yeah, that that's a that's a that's a that's a that's a, that's a, that's a unique thing there that's right. not because the market they were in they 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 literally hung themselves so well was, yeah we, we yeah. had an electronic had a bunch st- of embezzlement stuff go on we had a dedicated an electronic store it's called gateway Ele- electronics here in st louis mm-hmm. and the only reason why it folded was they wanted to sell and nobody wanted to buy it i, I mean i would have bought it if i had enough money but nobody wanted to buy it if you went into that electronic store on a Saturday afternoon, there were 50 people in there buying component level things to make kits, hmm. right? So it, I, I think that there is a market. You just have to make sure that you get in front of the right people to get the people that are making electronics and building kits and doing whatever they need to do, you know. And also, it, it 
there's probably repair shops and whatnot that they could probably market to and and get their their uh, um, you know their business too. But I think that there is a market for all of that stuff. It's just a matter of getting in front of the right people. Uh, Something else here they the have Dallas, here at the Fort Worth area. There was a uh, electronic store called Tanner's that it was very, very component level. And they had yeah. resistors, rows of resistors and rows of capacitors. Um, I, I think he folded because he wanted to retire and no one wanted to take over the shop. Yeah, he didn't fold. He closed. He Yeah, he was he wanted yeah. to retire and he sold it or he he was going to try to sell it, but he just didn't. So mm. they something else they have here. They have a full line of DSLR cameras from Canon, Sony, Nikon, mm. and Fujifilm. Wow. That's interesting. So they have a Z, that, that, what's that Sony one, the, the vlogging camera, the uh, Z, ZV-1, yeah. whatever it is, they have that. They have the A6700, uh, a bunch of the Canon uh, R-series mirrorless cameras. So Hey, and everybody, yeah, do not your... forget, they offer lines of credit. They will finance. So. Yep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can spend so, all your savings yeah. and then finance the rest. Okay. Jason, is James, the next, James time, is the next us, time you need a mirrorless camera, you need to check them out. Jason, mm -hmm. James is asking us, does Gigaparts have a demonstration ham shack set up there? Sort of. Um, so you put everything behind me, they have a Yezu and an ICOM section back here. Uh, those radios were all plugged in. They've got an ATOS setup. You can't see it. It's There's a there's a frame around the Yezu booth with an ATOS sit mounted on top of it that was receiving earlier. Uh, they have nice. the Bearcat scanners out there going and receiving the police and fire traffic that's local. Uh, so it's there. It's not complete yet, but it is there. At, at least they can receive that traffic. Mine's all encrypted mm -hmm. here. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. Um, another question I had, Jason, was, um, well, one, I had that spurred a, a question. Do they have, are they going to put like a dipole or a, a beam on the roof? and uh you know have a radio going at all times i'm not sure about that yet um that would be are you gonna put an antenna on the roof yeah yeah he's jason says yeah they will of course yeah. thank you yes. there you go nice hey, and that's how power that's gonna that be, be, be power on the roof. That that's yeah. gonna be if he wants to put if he wants to put a two meter antenna on top you know i'm not saying not saying anything special than you know there's a guy that jumps about 40 miles away once a year. <laughs> yeah. I want to work the store. So, as you guys well, know, the 6.52 uh, calling frequency out here is lit up most days. Oh, yeah. There's oh, a yeah. good group of guys that, that hang out on FM Simplex out here, which is nice. So, yeah, they should absolutely do that and just monitor 6.52 once they get the tower up on the store. That would be that would be fun to work the store. Just one of those things you're, you know. You're just going up and down the bands, and there's you know someone calling CQ just to mm -hmm. try a radio. You know wants wants to hear hear the audio. That'd be great. So wishing them mm -hmm. lots of lots of luck down there. Nice oh, yeah. job, guys. Yeah. Got nice a club job. call for the store. They've already got they, one. They already have one. Oh, yeah. they have. Oh, they, they've that's had that. perfect. Then K K four G I G. So, yeah, they've had that. that for a long time. My, my my other question is, what other electronic stores are there in in Huntsville? Is like Gigaparts Radio kind of the, the the thing, or is it? Is there other ones around? You know, there's a guitar center right across the street. Oh, yeah, I asked him that's... if they were going to carry like XLR cables, and he's like, "No, there's a guitar center right there, so they're not going to get into that." But I don't know what else. I don't know if there's a Radio Shack out here or not. No, no Radio Shack. So I, do they have Best Buys store? down there, or uh, Micro yes, Centers? They have. They have a Best Buy. I went there today. Yeah. Um, Best Buy. But I mean, you know, Best Buy, unless you want a washing machine, you know, Best Buy or a big TV. Yeah, that's they've changed. Air fryer in my TV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But you're not going to get component stuff at Best Buy. Guys, when you think about this, this business plan was very good. I, I, I commend Agreed. their business plan mm -hmm. because let's say you're not even a ham radio operator. Or you, you know, you're a shortwave, or you're just, you know, a treasure hunter, as you said. You're in the maker are, space, are, right? You're. This right, is like right. mecca for. This covers so many genres of topics and, and hobbies that those bags back. Look at them. Look at them. That's right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> that bag. Those bags back there are not only for ham radio operators. They're for anybody. They're yeah. for anybody oh, yeah. who's got to carry totally. stuff. I, and, hey, and they're yeah. very functional. J yep. Jason, ask, yep. ask Jason if he's going to have Fountain Sundrop and the snack bar. <laughs> <laughs> there, there better be a bet. Jason, 
Your next phase two is a is a vending Carrie machine. Lime, right? a, a vending no, machine okay. So with... so so Lou's in the chat. Hyken and Hammond's in the chat, and he came in today. I I, I saw him in here earlier. Um, yep. I they saw have his, his video. They have a bistro area with uh, with a cooler with sodas and co and cold coffee. They have a Keurig machine. They have a freezer section with ice cream. They have a section like with chips and crackers and whatnot with a self checkout iPad kiosk right there next to it. And then they have beast uh, like beast like uh, coffee shop tables uh, mm. with a with a bar where you can set up on a bar stool type uh, table or they have uh, little round tables with four chairs around each one. Jason. And they have they have guest Wi-Fi. So they Ooh. have they have Jason. the Starbucks. Go to Starbucks, get a coffee and get on the Internet, get on your laptop. Sure. They have that right here. I, I'm thinking. I'm thinking for Huntsville for the Ham Fest. The place to hang out is there, not at the not at Montesato. <laughs> they yeah, want us to I do something here. here. Drop, I yeah. mean, yeah. I think about it. I mean, think about it. You guys, you can <laughs> set up the radio there. You can set up a beam yeah. aimed towards uh, towards Vinmont, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and just set up a conga line. And life is good, man. You guys can irradiate yeah. the hell. You know, yeah. you throw can a, we throw, smoke throw, cigars. Can we throw a kill lot at me? <laughs> yeah. I don't think that Where's I don't the think room? they're going to put a cigar bar in here, but I'll ask. I'll Please, ask if I want to do a cigar I'll bar. I'll buy the let me so, tell you something. I may Robbie, tell my Robbie's kids shaking his head no, but we're gonna <laughs> talk him into it though. Let me tell you something. I'm I'm thinking already. <laughs> my kids this August are gonna have to find their own way to get back to college. I know where I want yes. to be in a few more yeah, months. That's right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Yep. That's the what that's that is legit. I, I thought about that like two or three hours ago. Legit. That's the one thing missing from this place is is a cigar section. I'm like, you need and, to have a room that's enclosed in glass right there for cigar smokers with a good ventilation system. And then couple, we'd have everything. Couple, and then I would just right. move to Huntsville, sleep in my truck, and spend all my days right here. And, and how do we get it listed as a Poda Park? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's a yeah. good idea. Go on the yeah. National Registry. <laughs> that was Jody's idea. Yeah. Thank you, Jody. <laughs> well, Kyle, Kyle, thank you for uh, for joining the soiree tonight. We, uh, Thanks we for appreciate you, you hopping in, and you've been a, a dedicated, loyal fan to us in so many ways. Thank so. you. How thank many, you. How many years is this for you guys? Three, is this an anniversary three. for you? For you? Yep. Three years. Okay. Nice. And uh, K A K A M R D figured out we've done about thirteen thousand hours of. Whatever, <laughs> the show of nothing yeah. of you know, but thirteen show. days, oh, thirteen days. days. I'm sorry, Thir thirteen days Thir of life. So, oh wow, Th that's that's how many <laughs> how many hours you guys have been on the air? Yep. Well, I, I I hear after fourteen days you perfect it. <laughs> <laughs> we will try harder. We will yeah. try harder. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> 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 after fourteen days. I will say Kyle. this. So, what are you laughing at, Carlos? Jeez. Kyle, Kyle just just dropped such such a beautiful. <laughs> I mean, such a beautiful and subtle. Just oh man, that is gorgeous. Yeah, after fourteen days, you'll get it right. Yeah. yeah. Which, I mean, this you, is why you, we you keep him around. This you, is why you, you're gonna set me up. I'm gonna, I'm I gonna there, smack I the pins there down. Might be some, <laughs> some sort of like hidden meaning behind that that I didn't. What, some reference I wouldn't get. Oh, about. there is. Ooh, there is. Man, don't, right, it, right. You live in Texas. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I forgot I was muted. But uh, besides the mic drop, now, we broke it down to. Uh, we looked at the revenue uh, of the last three years, and the chat and supporters have. Broke it down to about forty-eight dollars an hour so far. So forty-eight dollars an hour. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's good. That's that's uh. Wait a minute, that's, forty. That's pretty good. That's like minimum 40. wage right now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you you keep that up with uh, uh two thousand eighty hours, you're in six figures. See, look yeah, there. absolutely. Yeah, keep pushing. And we'll your health care insurance too. <laughs> and we do still have the buy me a coffee. So. Yeah, guys, three hundred and seven, yeah, three hundred and seven people watching tonight. Uh, we again, uh, we said it before. We're uh, unfortunately uh, Shane w w was was unable. I don't know if Molson's going to be able to uh, make it uh, as well as Beer Stack. But regardless, again, we're between those in the chat and our friends here here uh, tonight who are popping in and out. Again, we we appreciate it. Frank, listen, Frank took the time to do the lights. He put on his good coat. He got his good three dollar cigar. <laughs> put his on his good, good coat. His uh, his Bucky's really cup. No his, he he got his Bucky's Bucky cup going. 
Dude, I went to the barber today just for this. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Lit up a good cigar. Well, a cigar. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I do want to say one thing. So I'll be live streaming from here tomorrow on my channel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And during the live stream, there will be a page they're going to put up. And there won't be radios on this page, unfortunately. But they were going to have a 50% off sale. Oh. Certain items that oh. will only be live while I'm live streaming. Why? Why are you hitting my wallet like this, man? So look, look, dude, that's just I'm not saving fair. You, I'm saving you fifty percent off, buddy. That's what that's, I'm doing. That is wife math. That is wife uh, math, and you Carlos, know it, Carlos. <laughs> when I saw his email, his because I'm a part of his distribution list, like like many thousands of others, uh -huh. and I'm thinking tomorrow in the nine one one center, where do I sit so I can? How do I strategically? <laughs> how can I strategically? Do I sit somewhere that could be maybe not it's less strategic. active? You know, iPod, yeah. ear, you know, something in the ear. Have yep. the credit card ready. I mean, because this is going to be like this is going to be like great. This is going to be Max like you don't pass all, all right. this stuff. All right, Jason. I, we know. Let's preface this by saying we know that you mm -hmm. can't tell us what's going to be there. I don't even. I'm not even 100 percent sure myself what's going to be there. But you know, just between you and us, you, you and I. Yeah. Don't tell anybody else. Ex bros. Explo bros. Ex Explorer bags. Yeah, I was just Square gonna bags. say topics, topics. Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't say that, but look okay. at where I'm pointing. Oh, so, yeah. See, that's, that's the bro that's code right there. That's the yeah, bro yeah. code happening yeah. there. You know? Okay, right. good, cool. Right. But cool. Carlos, you know what the problem is now? When I go to therapy weekly and I have to talk about my my addiction to radios, batteries, antennas, and feed lights, <laughs> now I gotta add all the stuff in there. Now bags. I'm becoming Don't a bag, bag man. an old man, an old man bag man now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. You got to have the right bag for your kit. If you have all your gear in a bag, you just grab that bag and you know you're good to go. Yep. Or with the Explorer bag, with the little uh, jump accessory pouches, you pick up the radio you want to take out, put it in the bag or pack, and then pay, put that bag for the radio in the pack, and then you still have everything you need. Because and I need something for my 891. I was thinking of doing the rails and maybe doing a bag. Yep. Then I was thinking of yeah. doing an can. I was thinking of doing a toolbox. I was thinking... Of, I, I'm I've been scouring the internet and YouTube for ideas to make it my you own. See the, like anything else, you so. see that you see that they have an 891 bag now, right? Mm -hmm. No. Uh -oh. Yes. <laughs> so, go watch, uh, so, so go watch the latest video on my channel about the new Gigaparts Explore uh, insert bags and inserts. Okay. Like it's like two two or three weeks old. All right, I'm writing a new Gigaparts okay. Explore bag options they have a okay. they have a bag now for the 891 the 991 the 7300 uh a, a laptop which is dual sided velcro so you can put the laptop between your radio and the back of your bag yep and um and, and you're, you're leaving the best part out with that laptop bag mm -hmm. it is um expandable to whatever size of laptop you have yeah if you have a yeah, 13 inch really will fit. it'll have a 15 inch will fit if you have a 17 inch will fit inside that laptop sleeve Frank, yeah, the, Frank, the, when I, I get show, my laptop, will you my video. Frank, will you will you VPN into my laptop to set it up for me? Of only, course, only if you want to crash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do, don't man? don't joke about that, and then come back onto the stream at the at the fourth year anniversary and start bitching about how Frank destroyed your laptop. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely right. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah. <laughs> And you know, I just checked, and Gigaparts does have the 891 on hand right now. Oh, sure oh. do. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. I was very happy with that radio. I'm very surprised. Yeah. Very, yeah. very yeah. surprised. You know, Audio quality. Got, that that bag. Anybody want to buy my 706 Mark II G? Come on, step up, people. What do you want for it? What do you want for it? Uh, look, I, I'm like, how about this? I'll I'll say a price out here, and yes. then we can have a talk after. <laughs> yeah. I'll, and how I, how well does it look? Does it look cherry like the one Izzo has on his shelf at home? Oh no, no, it does not look cherry. <laughs> I'm, taking, I'm taking this thing parachute mobile, dude. What do you expect? I know. Uh, yeah, hey, I, I'll, I'll I tell expect you, you not to land on it. That's what I expect. <laughs> I don't. And I don't. Right? But you know, I bought it from a guy that 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 had used it. I'll say publicly, I'll take seven hundred for it, and I'll walk away. We can have a talk offline. All right. Okay. Okay. Jason, you know what's funny because. Jason, it's, it's funny because ever since I got the 891, now it becomes a challenge. Uh, mm -hmm. Like the 705 will, will, like, I'll look at the 705 and be like, 
pick me, take me, use me, mm -hmm. operate me for what you know. It, it, and now the 706 has been really seriously, it's on the shelf. And I and I want to make yeah. a decision. I might I might give that I might donate that to uh somebody or a group. I I think it's time for me to let go. I, I think it's time. Yeah. Um, I want to do something nice for for somebody or I, for a group. So don't um, yeah. do not misunderstand me. I love that radio. I really love mm -hmm. that radio. Mm -hmm. The only problem I have with that radio is that it is way too much temptation. Okay, I am trying to do Parish and Mobile this year, just like I did last year. QRP, and if I have an eight, uh, if I have a seven hundred six Mark II G handy. I'm going to use it. I'm going to go QRO and damn the torpedoes. So if I sell mm -hmm. that thing before the skydiving season begins, it, it, see, there you go. But, there you, there you go, Steve. <laughs> but if right. you're gonna, if you're gonna, you want to if go you're QRO? gonna grab an eight ninety one though, you're gonna have the same problem. I, I, I'm not gonna grab an eight ninety one. I'm just saying. Okay. Okay. Like because you were talking about the eight ninety one when you like the, the eight ninety one is 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 something I've been wanting, but it's a it's an item of. I don't want the temptation in my hands because if I th look, the 7300 doesn't go in the sky because I can't find a bag that'll fit it. That'll, that'll work as a fanny pack that I can take safely. If I could find it, I'd take the 7300 up in a heartbeat. Carlos. It, it's, right. it's not a, it's not a fanny pack. It won't fit as a fanny no, it's pack. Got, and it has to, it's got Velcro on it though. 160 Watts on two meters. <laughs> Carlos, Carlos, yeah. Carlos, let me tell you something. I picked up my 706 Mark II G because back in the day before TV stations went digital, that was our, our backup here when we had our storms and we lost power. We could still listen to the TV audio as well. Nice. And, and, I mean, I made a few uh, two-meter sideband contacts. I used it a lot on FM for 440, local repeaters. But the HF stuff was great. You guys all know me. I'm a big ICOM guy. Back, you know, when I first started, you know, I got a lot of loaners from JRCs, Kenwoods, and Tentex. Nice radios, too. Always stayed away from Yezu, but this 891 has really amazed me for the size of 100 watts or less, if you want. And it's just an amazing, the audio quality. I had to tweak a couple audio settings, and everybody says, Don, your audio is fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, it, to me, that's that says it's a, a good lot radio. about her. It really is. I'm very happy yeah. and disappointed I've, that ICOM just won't do something like it now for whatever the right. reason is. And, and I'm not here to yeah. bash them. Whatever their business, it is what it is. But I'm happy with that yep. 891. Very, very happy with it. Like it's I said, radio. I'm making I'm making all my other radios jealous that I'm playing with the 891. Uh -huh. now. Yeah. You know, they're all they're all looking at me right now. <laughs> so I'm not giving them attention. Well, I am gonna I am gonna drop this store actually closes. They're open until 8 p.m. They're open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Nice. So they closed about great uh, hours. Half yeah. hour ago. Yeah. And yeah, they let they you hang out. Half hour. Yeah, I asked them if they could, I could hang out, and they said that was cool. There's still people around here putting stuff on shelves. This place is still coming together. Make sure you uh, get a, a warranty for any for any batteries, just like how Radio Shack used to do. Remember that? <laughs> 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 yeah. But definitely catch my stream tomorrow because, like I tomorrow, said, 50% off. 50 off. Noon and central. Days. At noon, noon central. central. Got noon it. Central. Noon, got so it. Spend, you're going to spend my money at noon central tomorrow. Got it. <laughs> and if you didn't know about it before I said that just now, you need to sign up on my email list. That's right. I, That's right. right. I, 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 That's right. your email list. I got the message. It's just so I, don't, I wanted to make sure that the people that are watching, the you know, 100 and ah. some odd people that are watching, got the message. The 309 watching. I get three okay. or four of those messages and text messages and emails and stuff because yep. I signed up so many different That's emails great. trying to win and stuff where he told us that we couldn't <laughs> win and stuff. So uh, I still sign up anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, thanks, guys. Thanks for letting me join. Uh, appreciate Absolutely. you guys. Uh, thanks for coming. Congrats in. on the three years. Thank you. Um, uh, By the way, I love uh, how to you the, to dress to uh, match the chair that you're sitting in. Yeah. Like that orange yeah. Five, it was, a 511, too. 511. There yeah. you go. Totally <laughs> planned. It was totally planned to do that. So, thank you. All right, guys. Jason. Later. Y'all have a good night. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Seven Seven Jason. Yeah, happy birthday. Jason. Amazing. Oh, oh man. Alive. Oh, I don't want I want to fly down there right now. A am I hearing uh dumpster fire in the oh, background? Somebody there? Recognizes yeah, who who's who is that? Uh that would be Evan. Evan <laughs> is that, <laughs> Mr. Barcheck. That Evan Barcheck, that Evan Barcheck guy. Your business. Um, alpha, alpha, man, zero. I was slated to go down there for that opening. 
uh, but work been too busy and hectic, and we actually ran into a hiccup where we couldn't deliver on uh, when we wanted to this week. And they're like, that trip you wanted to take, that's go ahead, go ahead and do that. That's fine. You don't have to be here Friday. I'm like, um, tickets are a thousand dollars. Are you gonna flip that for me? They're like, yeah. no. I'm like, yeah, I can't go then. Don't yeah. you hate it when work gets in the way? Mm. Yeah. And work then they just leave you sitting on your butt. <laughs> so Kyle, what's going on with you? Are, are you back home now after uh, some uh, time off? I am. I Excellent. well, I I really after didn't take a lot of time shot. off, but uh, yeah, I'm back home in St. Louis. You know, it uh, it was nice to be down in Florida for a while. It was a uh, visit of the folks and uh, did some poda. Found Went to Orlando. Shack. What? Found a Radio Shack. Found a Radio Shack. Yes, yeah, if you did. take a look yes, at my did. channel, I went to a, a tour to Radio Shack. It looked like you had a good time, that, man. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, it, whenever you get out of St. Louis and you get to 80, 82 degrees and palm trees and sunny every single day, it's hard to be uh, uh, depressed down there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Hey Kyle, tell everybody about your second channel that you that you've set up. Dude, that thing is wild. It yeah, is. that's what I'm saying. I, I started watching stuff and I, I was getting so excited for him. I'm very happy for you. Yeah, thanks. So I started a um I bought a hiker trailer. If you don't know what a hiker trailer is, it is basically a teardrop style trailer. I call it a square drop, and it's it's very boxy, but it's basically a sw a sleeping quarters and um it's like an overlanding trailer, right? So it's sleeping quarters. It's got a gallery in the back that you can put uh, kitchen stuff. And it's got uh, a shower on the side. It's got a 270 degree awning. Um, so I started a channel called Square Drop Adventures. And maybe I'll put a, a link in the chat here. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, do you have any place? You got to have a place close to uh, St. Louis that does wraps, right? Like vehicle wraps and stuff. I'm sure. I'm Ooh. sure that there is. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. So you, man, please, when you show up in the Huntsville, I want it fully wrapped in sun drop. <laughs> I got a friend. Coffee on the side. I got a. a I, I got a friend who keeps talking about them wraps, man. There's. It is slick. I did see some stuff on YouTube about it. It is. Mm -hmm. slick. Yeah. So. Um. So anyway, I I started a channel, and um, you know, my first video got almost four thousand views. So um, it is. It has taken off, and uh, I, I, I filmed me purchasing and putting the order in. I went over to Columbia, Columbus, Indiana, and put my order in. And you know, well, all RVs well, are well, in Columbus. Whoa, well, whoa, well, stop! Or in Indiana. Yeah, you came. You came to Indiana. You didn't call me. Oh, oh. 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 oops! Or in oops. Oops. You, uh -oh. you, you didn't call you me. Wait a minute. No, I'm sorry. You just came to Indiana. You didn't come see me. Well, you know, <laughs> guys, I've got a limited amount of time, right? Shoot that it, I, I, the sad I, I got. <laughs> Where's the sad music? Mm -hmm. So, um, so I went over there and put a a down payment on it, and uh, then I went and picked it up in January. So I filmed that, and I filmed. I've basically have videoed. And recorded me getting the trailer ready and my trials and tribulations of everything from like picking out a mattress to how in the hell I'm going to get fit this thing in my garage. So I'm just you know I'm I'm putting together videos and and just putting it out there and and if you uh, if you like that type of thing, it's not going to be um, you know ham radio focused. It's going to be RV focused and and overlanding focused. But if you're into that kind of thing, give me a sub. If not, that's okay. You don't have to watch. Just like my channel. You don't have to watch my channel. My channel's not for everyone. If you if you sub, that's great. If not, no big deal. I don't Rob care. Rob is inquiring, is it like the KB9 VBR trailer? So um, so Scout 75 just bought... So those are TC teardrops, I believe, is the VBR. And I think Scout just bought a teardrop... Or I'm sorry, a um, TC teardrop. Scout, keep me honest there. But no, it doesn't look anything like it. It's more boxy than a, a traditional teardrop. Okay. Let me let me get let me get a picture here. I'm gonna get a picture and I'll share my screen. Yeah. And then you guys can. Here's another guy who wants to take my money. I'm yeah. telling you, my oh, wildest yeah. dreams start going crazy here. Of what I could do with that. So hmm. let me let me bring a picture up. So all right. So how do I? 
Let me bring it over here. Ooh. And I need to <clears throat> present, right? And yep. share my screen. Chuck, welcome aboard. Grab a grab a Hey chair. guys. Chuck. Chuck. All right. Bring that bring that up on the screen. So there it is. Let me solo that. Look at that. Look at this. Look at So that's man. that's it attached to my truck, look my Tacoma. That. Oh, that's look at it. It's got more it's, ground clearance than the truck. What's the, what oh, is yeah. the tongue, what is the tongue weight on that? I think it's like 210 pounds or you something. You could tow it with the Beamer. Yeah. yeah oh, it's I very can light. Totally tow the Beamer. The Beamer has a 4,000 pound tow capacity. I, I'm good with that. Yeah. So there's the, the shower, and the hot water heater, and the propane, the 11 propane uh, pound tank. Then here on the tongue is a the box where I put my fridge and you know all my R mm -hmm. RV items. And it's got a 100 watt solar panel. On the top, and it's got a max fan, and you can put a, you can put a rooftop tent up here on the on the bars if you want. Thank There's you. me pickup day. They wanted a a, a picture, so I took Excellent. a picture. And then here's the let's see, where's the other side of it? Is Kyle, other... I want to tell you, I have major home improvement plans. I might just scrap them. <laughs> yeah. There, there it is in my garage. That's how Beautiful. that's how close it is in my garage. It fits. Well, it fits. Nice. It does fit, but uh, it's you did it's, uh, it's a tight it squeeze. That way and then scoot your truck over. What? How, how'd you get it in and out of your garage? Did you like pick it up and walk it in? Yeah, I picked it up and I walked it in. I I did my best, so Mike strong. Tyson, and I I no, I I backed it in. <laughs> His Arnold Schwarzenegger. Where's oh, your I tongue? See, I see, your I see tongue the tongue now. On the other it's, side. It's 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 on the other side. This yeah. is the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No wait. I'm no, Shaq and Greg. Shaq and Greg was in the back pushing it, and he was pulling. <laughs> <laughs> Scout says Kyle can even stand up in it. I can barely. I can. I can get my shoulders up there, can. and that's about it. That's about it. Yeah, it's not meant to change your pants in there vertically. There, right. It's not meant for that. No, exactly. no, no. You do it horizontally, or you go outside and you do it. Right. Exactly. <laughs> So anyway, I am very excited about all the adventures that I'm going to have this summer. I've, I've literally, whenever Chuck knows this, and, and other people in the chat probably know this, and the people here on the panel know this, that once you get an RV or something to camp in, all of your friends that you had no idea that had an RV come out of the woodwork. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and now I've got all of these people that I had, I've been hanging around for years and years and I had no idea that they had an RV. And now I announced, you know, that I had an RV and they're just like, oh, we have one too. And I'm like, when did you get one? And they're like, oh, 10 <laughs> years ago. I'm like, I had no idea. And they're just like, we should go camping. And then before you know it, the calendar starts to be full of just camping adventures. Oh, you know, yeah. there's a reason why they don't tell you when when you don't have one, right? <laughs> why? It's because they don't want to. They don't want me to go with them. It's the yeah, they don't want company. Exactly. They don't want company. <laughs> it's like it's like Fight Club. You don't talk about it. Yeah, they, they right. want to get away from me, Chuck. So that's why they. <laughs> uh, they don't want you. I was just saying in general, not you so much. So uh, those, are, those are cool trailers. Really yeah, Hiken and Hammond says, "How thick of a mattress <laughs> did you put in a six uh, a six inch?" Put a six-inch um, trifold uh, Millard mattress in it. Um, yeah. So, Scout, I'm thinking about coming up for the Wisconsin Poda. Yes, you are correct. I'm. Nice. I'm probably gonna come up there. Yeah, that'd be fun. So, are they made in Columbus, Indiana? <laughs> yes, hiker okay. trailer is in Columbus, Indiana. Well, you know, I, I happen to to have an easy house there because my niece lives there so i'm gonna have to go see them uh most of the other rv stuff is made in elkhart and goshen indiana uh, and that's that's maybe 40 minutes from my house so listen if you're coming to indiana you know you got to call and say hey man i'm coming to indiana let's meet up and have a little have a drink yeah play polo or something that. you know <laughs> but um chuck and i are going to go to to uh and a bunch of other people frank included We've got a trip to uh, Yellowstone planned in yeah. July, so we're gonna. I'm gonna be out there with that. <clears throat> nice. um, there's a hiker convention, or you know, a meetup, kind of like uh, the Poda meetup that uh, Scout and uh, VBR were on. There's a there's a meetup in uh, West Virginia that I'm gonna go out on, and uh, I'm gonna meet up with James H. Rag, Ham Radio Adventure guy. We're gonna do a bunch of Poda out there. Excellent. 
Kyle, you know, Jody's asking about the metal roof. Is, is, is any area for a, a quick slap on mag mount or? I don't think so. I don't think it's a, I think it's a fiberglass roof and all of the inside is, is uh barked Baltic birch. It's all wood birch inside. Nice. And, okay. um, yeah, I don't have a picture of the inside, but you know, it's got cabinets or not cabinets, but it's got, um, storage inside. And, um, I think the only thing on the roof that is metal is the, is the, um, um, support the, bars. Yeah. The support bars, the, the rack. But it doesn't the make rack, a difference. Yeah. It, there are many ways of still mounting an antenna. You know, a half oh yeah. VHF, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, what I'm going to do this summer is I'm probably going to put, uh, obviously I'm going to put an, uh, an Apple air tag in it. So if it gets stolen, it can be, you know, ping. But I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a Pico APRS tracker with a little antenna on the outside of it and put that out there. And then I'm going to, got to get, um, a Starlink mount so I can have Starlink whenever I'm out boondocking. And, um, yeah, I've got, Just make sure that Starlink pole is taller than the trees at Monsanto. Yeah, well, <laughs> when I, the, the, the problem the problem that people in the RV community don't tell you about Starlink is <laughs> every campground you go to, the trees are taller than what you can get your Starlink above. So mm -hmm. they, they have like, you know, the, this this grand idea of they're going to go out on the road and they're going to spend their whole whole life, you know, RVing, and it's going to be glamorous, and they're going to have internet everywhere that they go. And then they pull into their first RV park, and it's trees everywhere, and they're just like, I can't get a signal, but with my Starlink. And then they have this old crap moment, you know? You know, well, you the struggle they're for also... the ham radio operator is, do I do I park under something with no trees so I can get Starlink, or do I park with trees so I can throw an antenna up? Yeah, it's true. Right. Could you imagine? Decisions, and decisions. have the shade. Yep. The yeah, other problem with Starlink too is it's not a, it's not like Direct TV where it's a, a, a small beam hitting the satellites. It's a wide beam. So even if you're not near trees, from what I understand, you still have problems. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, mean, I have a friend. I mean, the higher you get, it, probably the better. But you know, right? I had a friend who um, he just went camping in Utah, and he was down kind of like in a valley, and there was a there was a you know a a ten thousand foot. Uh, mountain about five miles away and he couldn't get starlink because the mountain was blocking the signal because it needed right. to get over this mountain you know the the mm. the takeoff <laughs> angle of the satellite i mean he would get it for like 30 minutes and then it would drop out for 10 and then he'd get it for 30 minutes and it would drop out for 10 and i was just like wow you know I, starlink is great right i think it's a great technology but man can you not rely on it yeah you it's just not there yet you think you guys just think it just needs a little bit more time, more birds, or it's, it's not what do you think? For me, that's for sure. What do you it's think? Well, what do you simple. what do you think the answer is, then, Chuck? What have, what is it to make it more? Um, there's just different things you can do. You can do Wi-Fi too. I mean, like Teal has a a router that has three different cards in it, like three different yeah, like, like AT and T, Verizon, and and yeah, T like a Pep. I think like PepLink. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, and that's that's a way to go too. It, it it won't always work either though. I mean, I was actually down in um, at Quartz Fest. I was able to stream YouTube TV off my off my phone. Mm -hmm. Nice. But I was watching the 49er playoff game, and the first three quarters were terrible because everybody was up and using the the wife, you know, using internet. Mm -hmm. And then fourth quarter came along, and it was like non-stop perfect the rest of the wave so that was the best part of the game so but it's i mean the service out there is terrible and i was still able to do it i mean i was lucky to get a bar uh, lucky to put a youtube video on your phone at night you know so the, there's the, no there's no perfect answer yeah, so then maybe stuff. so maybe the answer is for the serious uh overlander have multiple options then it sounds like yep yeah yeah you almost yeah. have to yeah the, the, the one thing that I don't like about Starlink, too, is, and I hear that they're, they're going to solve this at some point, and it sounds like maybe later this year, is all of their stuff is 110 volt or 120 volts. Like, they don't yeah. have any 12-volt solutions. You, you can do a 12-volt yeah. solution. You can do it now. Yeah, Steve made a video did like his. That. Well, okay, no, no, no. <clears throat> let, let me preference that. You can do 12-volt, but, yeah, they don't sell one. If, if, if right. the, the seven-year-old you know curmudgeon that doesn't know anything about electronics and wants to buy something off the shelf 
they they don't have an option. You have to you have to DIY it, right? Yeah. Yeah. He must have said yes. seventy year old, right? Yeah. It's, well, I was I was kind of looking at you, Chuck. So. <laughs> wasn't wow. looking at me. I'm almost there, man. Almost wow. There. <laughs> Not me. Fire. Not me. Ugh. I thought but, you said seven-year-old, and I was like... Oh. <laughs> seven. <laughs> well, that, that's what I heard. I heard seven-year-old. I'm like, seven-year-old seven year cur curmudgeon? <laughs> is he talking about me? <laughs> um, he, he's not talking mental age there, Carlos. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> yeah. But the, 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 the problem is there's not... There needs to be a, an off-the-shelf <laughs> thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, a quick, quick shout-out. Our... One of our newest uh, uh, family members, Big Boy, he has to leave the uh, chat. Guys, check him out. Check out his uh, his his on air uh, activities, his YouTube yeah. channel. He's he's a new supporter of us. New, like I said, new brother to the show. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Thank you for uh, for hopping on tonight. Wow, I just grabbed uh, about thirty new subscribers. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate nice. it. Yeah, well, there, there, you, go. there you go, man. Nice. Clubhouse does with ten percent of uh, people Zing. watching. So. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. So, yeah, that's the new channel. And, um, yeah, if you're into uh, adventure and uh, overlanding and uh, teardrops and square drops, there's a lot more. I'm going to try and, you know, center it towards tips and tricks on things that I learned that I can share. And then I'll throw in, you know, adventures and trips and whatnot. You'll see a lot of, uh, a lot of Chuck in, uh, in Yellowstone whenever we go out there. There you go. Good deal. That's I want to. I want to see Chuck. Lot. I want. I want. You, I want you to do showing Chuck getting in and getting out. Well, <laughs> Chuck yeah. is gonna. Please. Chuck, Chuck is gonna bring his uh, his trailer. I'm gonna. I'm gonna film a little bit of his trailer. Excellent. Oh, actually, Good. I'm bringing my motor home. Oh, even oh. better. My, my wife's. My wife's going. So oh, even better. The trailer's not going. The motor home's going. And I think I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna pull my Forerunner up there. Hopefully. Need to get a few things done. Look at this. Cool. Chuck doesn't mess around. No. He doesn't Videos, mess around. Just when you thought you were the coolest guy in the parking lot, and this guy nope. shows up. Here comes Chuck. Here comes. My Chuck. motorhome's old, man, but it's it's pretty nice. Yeah, Only it the, still runs. And you know, still, still, still runs. As long as you maintain them, they do fine. You know. Yeah. Yep. As as what like so. a cousin Eddie? Is it a cousin Eddie RV? Uh, mine's a it's a thirty two foot uh, like Sam. pusher. It's got a diesel. It's got, got, wow. It's got the uh, five nine Cummins in it. Okay. Which is a small I, motor, but it's a small, it's a small diesel motorhome. They don't usually usually they start around 35, 36 feet. And mine's only 32, which is where a lot of the gas motor ones are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's it's like bomb aligned diesel, top of line gas. <laughs> there, if you looked at the gas model and that one, they're the top of line gas and that one looked identical inside. But I'd rather have just, the diesel. I'd rather have the just, diesel well, myself. It's, it's a def, well, there's a, a big difference because I can actually put a 80 gallon ice chest in my basement area and still open the thing up and get stuff out of it, which in the gas ones you probably can't. Gotcha. Mm. Good God. This is kind of nice. Chuck, what, nice. What's the, how's the longest um, trip you have ever taken in your motorhome? Um, like, have you gone out months? I took before? it to Colorado. We took it to Colorado for about three or four weeks. Three or four weeks. When we went to Utah for a wedding, and then we went from Utah to uh, Colorado, and and uh, went to Durango. Yep. And yep. took the uh, took my Harley. And my did wife you and I uh, toured did around you do the, Durango uh, and stuff? Did you yes. ride the uh, million dollar highway? Oh yeah, my wife yep. was not a fan of that one. That's a million dollar highway. It's, it's just a steep cliff, cliff on one side. When you're going down, when you're well going from Durango to I forget Silverton, to Silverton, Silverton and Ure. You're on you're you're on the the, the hillside, and then when you come back, you're on the the fall off side. And she didn't yeah. like that too much. She oh. was she's not a she's not a big big fan of the Harley to start with, and and she's pretty much decided she's not going to ride anymore. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do kind of what. I'm going to start a second channel. It's more of uh, like adventure, adventure riding, motorcycle yeah. stuff. I'm going to get rid of the Harley, buy an adventure. I already bought like a little small one, a little uh, dual sport, a little 250. There you go. Okay. I, we're, going to, we're going to take a trip on it up the coast this summer. So me and a couple of friends. Nice. Chuck, it's, it's funny that you said that. I have just gotten into watching a bunch of guys that do these back roads um, adventure, back road adventure riding. Yep, mm -hmm. and I'm watching a guy who's going from Mexico to Banff, 
Wow, and that's a trip. His uh, his channel is um, oh man, let me let me get his channel. But it is amazing, like all of the trials and tribulations of you know getting you know stuck in the rain and this and that. It's, oh, yeah. It is a it's great. The Southern California BDR is like going to Baja or something. It's a lot of sand, a lot of deep sand and soft sand, which is hard to ride in. Um, I mean, I've done that. And I've done 1,200 miles in Baja before, Oof. Uh, you know, when I was about 20 years ago. And I tell you, we did 200-mile nights, days, and those about, I mean, even at that age, that about killed me. for the, I mean, I was like, I just get, we'd eat dinner and just pass out. Yeah. My buddy ever, just got back from there, but the, the bike he took this year was like way better than what we took down in the past. You ever tried the? You ever tried the Saddle Sir One Thousand? No. Oh, God no. <laughs> I, I, I did. <laughs> you get saddle sores. <clears throat> oh, I bet. Chuck, what's I it, tell you, was we, it you about 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 four years ago? You took a a YZ or something out. In California, I'm not sure. How I have my beta. Long. I have my beta. And, and yeah, that was a that was a that was a fun video watching you. Yeah, yeah, that was the first time I ever uh, put a camera on on like a dirt bike, and I just had it strapped. To, I had one of those chest straps, and it actually came out pretty good. And you could actually hear me. It was it was kind of interesting because what I liked about it. And guys, check this out. If, if any Chuck, what well, you have, I'm not sure if you still have it, but I think it was that was go to goat utility. mountain or something like that. It was a basic utility trailer that you modified for your needs. So, guys, mm -hmm. if you're looking for ideas, go into yeah. Chuck's library. Go into Chuck's library and uh, check that out. Yeah, I need to do a video on my trailer, a, a little better one. I, I've, I've had little bits and pieces of it. I did a uh, – I put one of those uh, diesel heaters in it. And you talk about – those things are so efficient because the fan takes very, very little. The only, the only real time it runs any power is when it starts and the glow plug's on. And right. after, and I usually I, – like when I when I've had generator, I usually have the generator running once I warm it up, and then I just turn it off, and that thing will run all night. And it's like we were in 38, 40 degree weather, and I think I just insulated the trailer, and it was like sixty eight inside there all night on the lowest setting. I couldn't. In fact, there's one there was one lower setting, and I didn't remember how to. It, it's like an eco mode, and, and right. that's that trailer's going to have to be in an eco mode, to, otherwise have to open some windows or something Swept because off, it's yeah. just it's just too much but the but it doesn't put any condensation or anything like that inside because it draws the air from outside what's who has got the crap on in the background <laughs> that's what i'm trying to figure out that's what i'm trying to figure out it's, it's tank nope. no it's no. probably tank i got no, i got no, earbuds thanks. man not coming for me. Thanks for messing with yeah. computers again. It, it's the <laughs> dumpster fire. It's Frank. It's the dumpster fire. Said it's the dumpster fire. Got it. So I've been y'all have really like scared the dumpster fire guys or something. I don't. They've been really quiet for the past. I was gonna minutes, say so <laughs> <laughs> maybe they're just so intrigued by all these great conversations a, that we've had. I, I, every opportunity I jumped to in there for the a minute, but. No, I think Joe, you're you're piping our audio in there also, so I was getting an echo. So I, I, I oh yes, out. it's not for you on screen, folks. If I'm we sorry. can no, shut off Joe. Evan Bar, no, if we can shut off Evan Barcheck, I think we're doing something amazing in here. What? <laughs> <laughs> love you, love you, Evan. <laughs> well, we're at two hours, boys. I was gonna, I was about to yeah. stay. I'm about to deuce out. So. Yes, sir. Well, we're gonna go around the room real. We're gonna go around the room real quickly, and uh, Chuck. Anything you want to say as we're going around the horn here? Wrap yeah, we up. just, no, if I can get a, a, a plug, we just came out Absolutely. with our Poseidon antenna. I don't mm -hmm. know if you guys, we just started selling that. We sold it to uh, supporters first. And mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, I've never seen Ape. Ape loves his nine to ones. I've never <laughs> seen him so excited about an antenna. He's like, it, there might have been some Miller lights in the mix, but he was, he was, <laughs> he was, he was, he was PMing us. I just got Russia. I just got Spain. I just got, nice. it's like all wow. over the world, man. He was, he got, you know, VKs and actually I went out today doing a video on a, uh, a backpack. It's this, it's a, like a tactical backpack range, range pack. And I threw up my 705 and, and the, uh, the Apollo. I got Japan and I heard, heard a guy in, in, um, Australia and he was really strong. I tried him, and right after I tried him, he just like totally dropped out. I could oh. barely hear him. And he was like S five or something, and then then he was like 
just not even moving my needle. But uh, our, our new antennas did go on sale. Uh, we saw quite a few of them already, actually. They're on the web. Um, they are available. I saw it today. They are. They, they are, are on, on there, on, yes. They're and, on the web, guys. And I haven't even told Jim, but I've got uh, 34 more kits already ready that he doesn't know about. So we're not going to run run out real quick. We, well, we sold. We had 50, and we're probably down to about 10, I think. Of those Chuck, real 50. quickly, for anybody who, who wants to go with this vertical antenna, mm -hmm. real quickly, put it up on a mast just and just let it go like you know, what, what you think maybe 10 you know yeah. a 22 footer or 25 what do you quick you know what do you recommend well we're, we're recommending a 10 or 12 meter mast like okay. a dx commander or something like that yes i thought i had one of the i'm uh, thinking keep uh, a keep it simple yeah. you know deploy it's it up super, i can put this thing up in like two or three minutes because so, my aries is like that that's my point my aries my aries is less than five minutes up and go and get on the air so is it iso proof? So, it's is, so it's see this. For, we're gonna. This is not the one you get. You get a nylon one. This is one I printed. But this this goes on top of almost every ten meter mast made or a twelve meter mast for spider yep. beam. Pop on you top. Put it on yep. top. It comes down and where it gets tight, you just kind of get just leave it where it gets tight. And then the Poseidon is supposed to be about about six inches off the ground or so. And then you lay your radials out. And it's it needs a tuner. And we went through a lot of. Well, I did. I I. I probably wrap 15 or 20 different toroids, not different toroids, but different wraps. And we did uh, three, three or four different toroids and finally decided on the one we decided. So I've got one here. This, the, one of these, this is, this is not the actual one we're selling, but it's the same thing. This one will tune. I've been able to tune with my Yesus 80 to six with the wow. internal tuner. There you go. And, and some of those are over. It's weird because some of them are over four to one, but it'll still tune. Now, it, it can't tune 80 with this 7300, but I think it's the he has it mounted against a, a, a metal pipe. And I think that's what's messing him up. So, but uh, you should, and it's not really 480, it's mainly for 40 and up. Those guys, him and Jim have been killing. I, I, I had mine up for a while, I didn't even do any FT8. And they're, they're making me want to throw it back up again. I'm, I'm playing with a different antenna right now that we're looking at. You know, Chuck's I, working I'm, for the I've man. I've moved on. I've moved on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. R and D. On R and D. Let's go. How's, how's retirement treating you, Chuck? <laughs> Sounds like you're working your ass off. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'm got busy. time for that RV time? It's RV trip. Time. I had all no, these. I had all these spot, not sponsored, but these people sent me stuff, and I've. I, I don't know why I take them because and then I'm like, I'm stressing about getting the videos out because they're like, hey, have you got that video out yet? No, I told you, you, you just got here yesterday, you know, oh, this is that's why I don't I don't do any of that crap. No stress. I do a few and only if something like my daughter needs batteries for her motorhome. So I did a couple of battery ones. There you go. <laughs> that works. So well, thank you, Chuck. We, we appreciate and yeah. we're excited for you guys with this new endeavor. New yep. uh, another uh you know, product for your uh, for your product line. It's and we all know you guys got some quality stuff out there. So we tell everyone. We just, uh, you know, we're not the cheapest, but when you start looking at our winder, it's, you're not going to. I mean, it's not made to sit outside every day because nylon will take in a little bit of moisture, but mine set out for three weeks and no problem. You couldn't tell it was it was just wet when I brought it in. Is all it? it I mean, we've had a lot of rain this year, which yeah. kind of the hampers my what i get to do because usually like a couple of years ago i sat here and built antennas all all winter you know or all, you know because we didn't have any rain but um uh, oh well we need the rain usually but thanks well, thank uh you. having me on guys absolutely. Yeah, absolutely thanks for stopping by kyle what do you got to say um AA0Z is the YouTube channel for ham radio square drop adventures is the YouTube channel for uh, the RV overlanding. Um, yeah, I got just did a CW roundtable last <clears> night. <throat> we reviewed the Long Island CW um, practice page. So if you're wanting to learn CW and you're in that in one of the classes, you can use that. Um, did you guys know that there's like 4,700 people that are members of the Long Island CW Club? It is wow. insane. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, um, 
Jody just said, get that Hamvention planning video on your radar. Yep, it's on my radar. And, oh, announcement. Breaking news. You guys want to hear breaking news? For, yeah. You heard it what first you here. You heard it first here. Full screen. We, there you go. For, for, thank you. Oh, look at look at all the zits on my on He's my so face. Handsome. I wasn't gonna, we weren't going to bring it up, but I got a spot right here. I got to get the use that you, use that picture for your for your a Tinder account. I know. D D this Dr. Samuel, are life. you watching my dermatologist? Please, please look <laughs> at these spots here. Um, this is anyway. real life walking around with Kyle and he walks in front of a mirror. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, ooh, look at that hey. spot there. Um, he must be 15. Yeah. I I am the same age as Jason, if you can believe it. If no way. Jason's going to have a birthday stream tomorrow, and I'm going to be the same age as Jason in a couple of months. So <laughs> watch out. But anyway, breaking news. At Hamvention. We have rented out the Troll Pub again on Saturday night from yes. 5 p.m. until until we close that sucker oh, down. Wow. So come out to the Troll <laughs> Pub on Saturday of Hamvention, downtown Dayton. So Excellent. be there or bake like a tree and scram. So. <laughs> Love it. Uh, we probably go, but Jim has to leave at 5. Yeah. Well, you guys are going <laughs> to no, have... Gonna have he have can't have dinner. Maybe, I have to get, maybe I have to get a second car. So you, know. <laughs> so you, you guys want to hear a funny story? So we were, I'm going to tell it anyway. Um, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if you guys don't want to hear it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell it anyway. So um, we were trying to get everyone to go to dinner. And this is like at three o'clock in the afternoon, 3.30. And no somebody contacted Jim. They're like, oh, where's Jim? Or like, I don't know, send him a text or, you know, send, get a hold of him. He, this is at 3.30 in the afternoon. He texts back to whomever and says, oh, we already left. We're, we're eating right now. And we're like, it's 3.30 in the afternoon. You know how what early that was eating? for me? Well, it's, yeah, and Chuck went yeah, with him. I guess like to keep him company. For me. What's this? <laughs> the, early, the early bird like, special? I can't believe. The early bird special? I can't believe uh, you guys eat so early. Jim needs to move to the villages. Yeah. <laughs> so now, now let, look, look at the chat. Jim is trying to blame it on Ape. <laughs> oh, I thought he had to go. Like, like go, like go yeah. to bed. Well, oh, he's, no, he's, he's, he's on the Poseidon the right now. He's on 30. Yeah, he is. He's sandbagging. He's sandbagging yeah. us. So anyway, we made fun of them all night because they went for dinner like at 3.30. And then we went out to dinner like at 7, and they came out. And I don't know if they ate again, but they definitely had some drinks, and we had a good time. We so, didn't eat. I, think, I don't think I even drank when we were there. Oh, really? Well, that's what they were doing. They were eating before the you know, the beverages. So anyway, thanks well, guys. Yeah, Appreciate cool. it. Uh, congratulations on three years. It's uh, yeah, it was like yeah. yesterday that you guys started. You got you all look yeah. younger than than whenever you started. So love, thank yeah. you. And you're welcome. <laughs> thank you. You're because of that. You're welcome back to my house anytime. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos, even, he, he, even though you made me, <laughs> you made me sleep in the kitty bed. Oh, well, listen. Hey. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There are Dave there, and there still are. There's Dave Matthew posters still up. And oh, there is. Yeah. There is. So don't, my daughter has good taste. Yeah. Hey, I, uh, I, guys, I, did I contact any of you guys last night? Man, I was, I was, I was throwing like a thousand watts to the east last night. Oh, 20, and just I had super pileup, man. It was like yeah. fun. No, I got no. to where I couldn't talk. I finally had to quit because I couldn't talk anymore. Wow. Mm. Oh. Nice. No. Carlos, is it is it almost uh, jumping season for you? What's going on with you? Literally one month away from the beginning of the skydiving wow. season for me. No, I won't be doing parachute mobile then. It's still too cold at altitude, even in yeah. the middle of April. Uh, I don't expect I'll be doing any parachute mobile until Xenia. However, should it happen, you know, if the temperatures are right, I will. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm, I'm finishing out my truck. Um, I'm going to put a couple of Poda videos up, uh, having fun doing radio things. You know, folks, it's easy. Get out there. Have fun. Whatever you're doing, just go out and have some fun. Mm -hmm. This ain't that difficult. You know, go enjoy. And if you're not enjoying it, do something else. It's, it's, right. it's This is not rocket surgery or brain science, okay? <laughs> Too easy. Go have fun. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to put up some videos about it. I hope everybody's having a blast. Congratulations on three years. Thank you for having an awesome, 
awesome, awesome. Laugh my guts every damn week. It's it's to the point where my wife basically has exiled me to the guest room when I'm watching this show. It's like, no, no, you're too damn loud. You're listening too much. Go away. And that's okay. At least you go out to the ham shack. This is a fantastically fun two hours or thereabouts every week. Tell you what. Tell you what. We're going to put it. You tell her she has an open invitation to come on some night. We want to ask her some questions. We oh, want to okay. know. I, I will tell we her. We want to know. We'll, we will have to keep it PG rated. Um, yes. but I'm sure we can do it. I would she, love she to. Was, she was in the army. She can, you know, oh, yeah, she's, fine. She, she's a tough right, cookie. Cool. Good. We should have gonna be a YL now. or other stream <laughs> where you have just the YLs and others on the stream talking about all y'all when you're not there. We've talked about that in the past. We have. I'm waiting for that. Actually, no, so. that, that's a hard pass. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Steve says no. Steve's secrets stay in South Carolina. That's what, that's that's what right. it is. That's no, what it is they were go they're going to go around the ham shack. All right, guys, I want you to tell me how much was this radio, and they hold it up. That's right. And how much is this radio? What do they spend on this? Great deal on everything. My wife already got, knows, man. I got a great she deal knows. on everything. Your wife's in that's, the chat. That's my I alibi. I know she is. <laughs> Tank Radio, we hope you enjoyed your cigar. I, seriously, Frank, I know you took a lot to set up and hang out with us tonight. It's deeply appreciated. You are always fun to be with. Um, I know I personally cannot wait to meet you, shake your hand, give you a, give you a big old Izzo hug, and, and and actually smoke a cigar instead of you know through the world of YouTube mm -hmm. and, and 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 everything. But uh, but thank you for coming on. What do you got going on inside um, your life? I am going to be releasing a couple of videos this week out of cycle. Um, the Go Kit Challenge released Monday, and that was just a overview of the event and the winners coming out tomorrow. I rendered it during the stream. It is going to be the go kits for the general part of the uh, show. So it's all the interviews I did and had the creators of the go kits talk about their kits and what thoughts and goals they wanted uh, when they're building their go kit. And then Friday is going to be the technician or um, UHF VHF part of the competition with their go kits. Um, then coming up Monday, I am going to have my Poda pack update everything i have in my photo pack at what's new what what i changed Excellent. and thoughts like that um then anywhere else if you just want to come find me go ahead and search tank radio i am on youtube and uh, search tank radio and any audio podcast and uh i have two streams that are not released on youtube um on that audio podcast so i do a drop every friday uh, morning excellent very nice. excellent thank you and, Brothers, and Izzo, man, I can't wait. Can't wait to have that. It's going to happen someday. It will happen, as well as so many others here. It's so many yep. others. I, I, I got to tell you, having Kyle and I, our time was so limited. I think it was rushed. I think mm -hmm. the next time Kyle and I hang out, and I, I want it to be just a little bit more relaxed. Um, we'll figure it out. We'll figure and it out. I'm, I'm happy with the kids' room. Even though Kyle fits the bed perfectly, <laughs> I'll be happy there. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's getting fire. it's getting a paint job, Frank. It's getting a paint job. I think it's some color pink or something. I, if you Ooh. can stomach, you know, I don't no, know. It was, it was pink right. whenever I was there. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother Steve, you're first. How do uh, we how do we say how do we end this tonight? Freaking three years, you know. Uh, screw it. Here's to many more, um, many yes. many more. Absolutely. So. But uh, no, I've got another video in the pipe for next week. Um, so I'll be in the Tuesday night playlist again. Might drop a second video like I did this week. I actually dropped two this week. If you can count a two minute video as a full video. Um, but getting them out there, you know, staying busy. I've got a robot competition that I'm volunteering at this weekend. And then I've got uh, Rars Fest coming up. April 6th. I'll be live streaming from there. Uh, just got the approval on that. So I'll be up in Raleigh for the day. All right. The... Excellent. And then, of course, here on Tuesday what? nights. On oh, Tuesday nights. sorry. It's hard to hear. Yep. Go ahead. You want to okay. say something, Joe? Come on. No, Joe, say ahead. something. No, Joe, no it's, it's over to you. 
Joe, the sultry sounds. Come on, give us some sultry sounds. Well, if you let me go now, you're going to lose your opportunity, though, because I'm unmuting no, this other crew when I get done talking. So oh, you want to go ahead? All right. Um, it's been a it's been a fun three years again. Like I said earlier at the beginning of the show, we've had some good times. We've had some sad times here. We've had some really important times. We've had some really nonsense stuff that came out of our mouths that we couldn't believe that came out of our mouths. <laughs> um. It is what it is. We just wanted to hang out. And, uh, you know, Joe Brett and I had a, a – Joe Brett, I'm going to tell them something without going too uh, deep. Joe Brett and I had a private conversation a few months ago about talking here and just having fun. And I remember one of Joe Brett's precious words to me was, it's like sitting on the back porch or a front porch just hanging out. We're sitting in the rocking chair. We're sitting wherever. Just We're very relaxed, enjoying. And this is the intent of this show, and we hope everybody can enjoy it. Um and we'll do it again next week and the week after, and we'll keep on doing it as long as you guys want us to continue to uh, do it. I think we have something great here. Um, it's simple. It's fun. Sometimes our things that we do get planned weeks ahead, and other times it's you know 10 minutes before we're still trying to figure out something or, hey, I got an idea. Let's do this. And somehow it all comes together due to our friendship and love for each other of true brotherhood. So. Um, here in Connecticut, we got some major POTA stuff going on this weekend. I'm hoping the weather is going to be able to support it. Um, I don't care. It's getting a little warmer. It's the rain as always, but we'll try to make it work. I went out on, uh, I went out last, uh, I went out on Saturday. Like the guy said earlier, bands were a little crazy. I think I only did 45 contacts, but it was just fun just to get out and still, still have some fun. Uh, some people still want to walk up to my antenna, get close to it and say, what is that? And I can't stand when people do it. But it's part of it's part of the hobby. It is what it is. I want to be a good hold it for you. I want to be a good ambassador, but I'm like, don't touch that Aries antenna. Go buy your own at Coffee and Ham Radio. And here's the way. <laughs> just just, just radioactive. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know, I was yeah. I was down at the I was down at the bay today, and I had like three different people ask me if I was fishing, and I wasn't even. I'm like, yeah, fifty yards from the from the water. Fishing for know? contacts. Yep. That's right. I love it when people guess is is that some type of radar? Are you monitoring the birds? Are you monitoring the wildlife or are you talking to I'll, aliens? Yeah, it, sometimes are I'll you say yeah. To Mars. Yes, I well, am. Sometimes, sometimes I'll be a smart ass and say I'm actually monitoring the shark activity that are reported to be in the water. So if you're going to go out, just you know, be careful. Look for the fin. Um other times <laughs> no, I I do take the time. I do believe in being a good a good ambassador to the hobby. So, um, uh, and Mike, real quickly, I'm almost at the end of this great cigar. This is the Itatawai, the Grand Conjun. Excellent Ooh. cigar, guys. I really enjoy it. So, uh, and Frank, when you come up here, I'll have one for you. So, yes. Joe Brett, over to you. Put the ribbons on it, Joe Brett. The ribbons, man. I just admire you, Izzo, how you never have any trouble saying the names of your cigars man no no stutter or anything Just, it's like my that, joe man, it's so. like my kids it's like my listen joe you don't forget their birthday you don't forget their names at least you don't forget their names there you go you, you, also, said, you also said it great about the show um i guess that maybe that's why we've rocked on a little bit is just it's just the gut punches and getting together uh there's a lot of times behind the scenes we talk throughout the week or, or earlier on a Tuesday. And we're like, man, I don't know. I'm having a bad day. I'm pissed off. I'm in a bad mood. I don't think I want to relay that onto the show. Of course, a lot of y'all, for some reason, love rants. But uh, so we end up coming on the show and then getting a better mood because we get to rant it out or gut punch each other. Uh, so it's, it's been a good time. And just just to, we need to get Carlos. I got to record his laugh sometimes so we can just like put it on the soundboard or something. But, there you go. Yeah. Anyway, when somebody starts a rant, just hit Carlos' laugh and that'll put him in a good mood. So. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> when, when, it, when Izzo mentioned three years uh, earlier today or yesterday, I think a day or two ago, I was like, what the hell ever? But I mean, he was right. You know, yep. so time flies when you're having fun. I'm really appreciative since Chuck's here. I'll uh, I have to say it to him. Uh, to some of the other guys are listening. Jim's uh, actually in the dumpster, so he's listening too. But it's great to be able to have a show that can co-live with another show that actually educates us and talks about radio. So thank you all for actually doing that. So we don't have to. I get educated from Ape all the time, man. God, sometimes <laughs> too much, man. I just don't understand I why he knows the things he knows. But uh, 
you gotta try building antennas with the guy. <laughs> I couldn't Oof. imagine. Yeah. Jeez. But with that, I'm gonna shut up and ramble him because we've had this community, great community built around the show that shows up in the chat all the time and just keeps building. Uh, there's been a, a secondary community. You know, you always have those on the outskirts, right? And they're always they're always kind of the oddballs that you're not sure if you want to go say hey to or not. But uh, I've decided to put them on audio, and we're going to let them say what they want to say. Maybe, may have to mute them. I don't know. They're Keep not it clean, to, boys. Keep it clean. They're Keep not clean. used to being able to talk in public. So um, Evan, I think, is the one you have to worry about the most. He gets a little carried away. <laughs> our, bets, our bets are on Evan, you mean? <laughs> yeah, yep. and, I, and I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't mention names to this other uh, side community here. But this is your brothers uh, on the outskirts of – the clubhouse uh, city limits here uh, they're a little odd but they're okay they're still one of us so a little pretty odd pretty <laughs> if i remember the button this push and see they're talking and don't even know they're unmuted soon. now so boys this is your dumpster time carry oh, the show no, oh this is a bad idea oh, yeah, <laughs> see what even they think it's a bad idea you're gonna get so demonetized for this uh, so and for for folks in the chat or maybe on the twitch since shane's not here we got to mention the twitch and uh twitter yep. possible watchers uh thank you all podcast Mention listeners all horrible job of taking care of your subscribers and viewers this yeah time. mention the super chat i was yeah. gonna say i'm, I'm going without, through the without super without chats here just as soon as all worry steve mentioned the green people earlier see what you have to put up with man uh, and y'all think i gave out five, five oh. subscriptions one to you, Joe Brett. Uh, yeah, I got another. I got to turn who that off. That? Thanks, though. Who, who, who was that talking? I'm, I'm going to get out of here. See you guys later. Right so so you know. Bye. 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 <laughs> Who's uh, complaining? Who? There are no complaints on Tuesday nights. You don't complain on Tuesday nights. Joe, did you mute yeah. them? No, I did not mute them. Okay. But for anybody Evan that's listening and wondering about this stuff, shut up, Dumpster Fire, for just a minute. <laughs> Jim, <hey. laughs> um, you can find you can find the Dumpster Fire. <laughs> on the discord and the link to invite you to the discord server is supposed to be in the description if shane put it in there <laughs> he's good about that <laughs> you, brought this, you brought this up to yourself joe <laughs> yes yes you did um so the member shout outs that we got we've got utv ham um both with an eight month chat and five gifted subs we appreciate that Thank you. In zero well, UBR joined as a new member. In one JUR five dollar super chat. Eric Jody with a shout out for fifteen months. Andy Kelly fifteen months. Ed fifteen months. A little faster. Yep. Yeah. 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 Shut up. Chris Radio <laughs> Life eleven months. Colt 45, 15 months. Ryan K six RCM five dollars. Mike and eight YO seven months. Brian K zero H O fourteen months. F E P Labs five gifted subs. J J two months. Uh, Phil nine months. Chris fourteen months and Brian fifteen months. And looks like Todd in there for seven months. Every Thank time you, you say the word "and," I think you're at the uh, end of the list, and you keep nope. going. And then it, I got to keep scrolling. Shit. <laughs> Rick with a ten dollars super chat. Just in Thank the you, last Rick. minute. Thanks, Rick. Thank you. All right. And Fire Boys. Uh, oh, some, whoever wants to say something, say something. This is a bad idea. Hey, I want my. Uh, the whole show was a bad idea. From the Evan Barchek, 13 go. months. Oh, Evan Carlos wants something. FEP Labs, 25 bucks. I'm playing the outro. 73, guys. 73, guys. See what happens when Beer Snack, Molson, and Shane are not here? It goes to hell.